Help Jabaley help us out, you feel me? Hit the merch. We right here, CEO 2023, finals day live and in full effect. You know how we kicking it off in the arena, baby. Guilty Gear Strive, Ringe, Proxy, how you doing? Dude, excited to get to see some action coming through. Like you said, Guilty Gear Strive to kick off the day. After that, we got a little bit of Smash and Street Fighter, but for now, we got to focus in a little bit of the gears to come through early morning. What a way to wake up, but Let's take a look at the bracket before we get in, see who we've got coming through. And it's exciting. Florida filled bracket here coming oh, out. Yeah. TNS MFCR facing off against Super Noon in the winner's side. And on the other side, we're going to have TYL. Test your luck facing off against Marvello. Indeed. And the loser side of things, we got Adventure and Lord Knight facing off. And then the JoJo from the UK, our low, oh, I was going to say our low non US representative, but test your luck. Oh, Canada in the building, of course. And going up against Creator. So it's going to be a great bracket from start to finish. Best belief. Absolutely, good amount of character diversity as well. We had uh, a bike and Giovanna, we had uh, a little bit of Anji and, uh, and Jacko. Everybody sneaking in there. You love to see it. So we're gonna have a ton of representation coming out through the bracket. But I think this is the I think the first match is the one that we are both are uh, most yeah. excited for. <laughs> yeah, 100 percent right because we both got dogs in this fight. Let's keep it a buck here. My man's obviously TNS proxy got the TNS MFCR in the building. <laughs> Super Noon, bro. Me and Noon, we've come a long way since getting pulled over by 12 on the way home from Wednesday night fights. You feel me? So we go <laughs> way back and we've been through some things. So my man Noon, I'll ride it with him for sure. But MFCR is gonna be a good one regardless. It definitely is going to be. But it looks like we are gonna head up into the. Uh, uh, into the ring oh. for Mr. Jake Ryan. Holla at me, Jake. Let me handle one of those. Guilty Gear Strive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you guys on the mic. Two goats over there. And we got two goats coming up to the ring. But first off, the first player that's coming up is actually a man who never sleeps because he is always flash kicking on wake up. Miguel about to bring some hell. MFCR. Well, a very serene intro. What flag is this? You know this flag? Venezuela. Venezuela, right? Venezuela. Okay, I didn't, I didn't want to mess it up. That's what I thought. Oh, my God. Oh. MFCR getting all strapped up and ready to head to the ring. Oh, the business cap on. Oh, drape this man in the flag, please. Oh, this man about to handle business. We getting dressed for the entrance. Yes, drape him in the flag. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, bro. It's a cape. I believe. And you see the weapon of choice right there. About to pick it up. The things he puts bodies in bags with. Let's get it, bro. The Empress hip hop style. Oh, my boy. The king. Absolutely. And you see all the homies giving the hugs out. Good to see it. MFCR. Surrounded by the family, now headed to the ring. You got to do it on your own now. Yes, Nobody can follow you through. Exactly right. You're going to be up there in the ring solo, dolo, but the power of friendship. This is an anime game after all, baby. We got to <laughs> acknowledge that and how far it goes. And believe me, his opponent, he likes to use that power himself. But the beating of the chest, MFCR, I would say home field advantage. You see the TNS jacket over him. Florida definitely going to be in the building for this man. Man, that entrance is going to be hard to follow up. Remember, in the great words of Elden Ring, try finger, not saying the next part. <laughs> However, the next part, this one's easy because I'm on Rin's side of here. I've seen this kid <laughs> grow up from Dragon Ball, from Marvel to an amazing game. One of the best in the business, an EVO finalist, a top eight finalist for CEO last year. It is Super Dude. Super Noon got his own Bridget. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be Noon coming down to the ring. Obviously, been rocking the Bridget on scene. Truly, I think that uh, he had a good home on Ram, but Bridget has just looked so natural for him. 100%, right? Like Noon definitely is like one of those players that wants to utilize a strong, like grounded, fundamental type game. But I think with the Ram, it just didn't have enough juice for him, right? Obviously, he's got that Marvel DNA. So he wants to be able to go a little ham, get in the air, and kind of alter his trajectory in every way. What are we going to, you going to tweet live again? 
He did, last year didn't focus either, bro. <laughs> he did the same stuff last year. And I was like, bro, the camera did not focus on your tweet. Oh, my God. He shipped it, though. Hey, listen. Yeah, I, I'm sure you're already following him on Twitter, so you can go find him. Exactly. That's what I, was, I literally <laughs> opened the, the app right now. What oh, did he say? Oh, my God. But this is going to be uh, definitely a, uh, a volatile matchup, I'd say, for sure. Obviously, Leo, uh, the king of getting off of his back here. Flash kick is always a threat, and he gets such high reward for being able to go for it. But Bridget, such loopable, safe Oki, able to pressure in such ways. And Noon, honestly and truly, I think, has the best movement of any Bridget that I've seen. And that's what it really harkens back to, right? That's kind of why I, you know, the Ram was good. She's got really fast acceleration speed. She's got her own shenanigans in the air, but the bridge just offers so much more in that aspect, right? With the yeah. roll, with the ability to dive bomb and all this, he can just catch his opponents off guard constantly. And that's what Noon is used to. So really, it's finally a character that I think he can gel with better than any other that he's tried in this game. And look at that. I mean, he's got the free hugs. He's got the Roger <laughs> coming in to command grab you on the shirt. He came out with the bridge. You could tell this man is feeling this character. Absolutely. And I was actually talking about it with Brad, trust Brad. Uh, uh, he kind of uh, represents the play style of the character that is uh, <laughs> kind of unique in that it, it does feel like a yo-yo with her. 100%. Very in, very out. I, uh, it, it's uh, a little poetic. Yeah, <laughs> it's really, it's another testament to the character uniqueness of Guilty Gear, right? And like how kind of deep they go and how much they see the character throughout like all of its aspects, whether it be aesthetic, play style, what have you. So it's definitely dope to see. And, man, it's going to be a great one to start it off again, MFCR, Super Noon. We, we're going to stay unbiased, but not really. Uh, you know, we'll <laughs> but I do, not my, really. do my best to keep my hat out of the ring. But you got <laughs> the three funny letters on the jacket. It's hard for me not to. That's but what I'm saying, bro. We'll see it, though. A fist bump between the two. And this is, like I said, fast, furious, and definitely going to be a little bit volatile. Really? I'm so excited to see how they play this out. And what I told you about Noon and me, that was real, bro. <laughs> that was real. So, trust me, we've been through some things. So my man, Super Noon, of course, yeah, we're going to see. He's got to have the safe jump timings on deck, right? That's always what I'm looking for up against the Leo White fame because, as you mentioned, flash kick god, and especially when you have that RC behind you, you can put your opponent in the mix, even if they block your invincible reversal. Dude, so it's here. Finally getting to it. Man, All these players it. down to eight. The first match of top eight, so Guilty Gear Strive, at CEO 2023. Let's get it started. The king has arrived, baby. Okay. Oh, and that was such a proper call for MFCR, it really too, baby. Was. Like, he does it his way. <laughs> He's got a brand of Leo that nobody else does. And I do, do not think these are money checks. Did my man just trying to go first with that execution error at 99 seconds? I think he might just be goaded. I don't know. <laughs> I, I like that. Is that even trying to start top eight with the 99 second goal first beat? Not going to work it out, though. Noon doing a great job getting that pressure. Does find the throw, has plenty of meter too. Kind of guessing for game in the situation, oh. and Roger connects. What do we say? He has the shirt on, bro. You gotta be ready for those command grabs. A perfect to lead off. If there was ever a way to start, Noon coming in strong. Let me get that hug counter going. Maybe that's one free hug. Oh, nice job using the Berserker to get back in. Yo, never skipping late day. Okay, use that fireball, but a jump over. Amazing stuff. Noon with the IED. King out, but he runs forward and DPs. It doesn't matter to him. Yeah, you see that dash forward DP? I'm gonna make sure I'm in range. Now calling out your buddy for the counter. Oh, the main roll actually catches the back dash, but we so scrambly. And you already said that the flash hit RC. Now it's MFCR's turn now. Press in the corner. Noon escapes, but not for free. Oh, overhead. I like oh. that little step forward, too. Made it look like a low. The pressure to the unstance again. MFCR, what an answer back. And Noon, you saw the EFD right there, right? He was trying to push MFCR away, perhaps to try to take the disguise afterwards, but he was able to close that before he got off the ground all day, every day with the 2K. Oh, okay. Pushed away, nice FD. Trying to do a little bit of movement there. Actually, he ends up finding the 2D, and now with the overhead, but he DPs out. Noon gonna represent the DP early. You gotta make them think about it. Just keep adding to that mental stack. Always like representing the Invincible Reversal when you can. Oh, no, the throw attempt is immediately blown up. And then right afterwards, the punish throw in the corner, 50 meter. Mm -hmm. It looked like it was a flash kick from MFCR. He's so good at getting them out in the scramble situation. Doom was ready that time to fast RC. is blocked by RC to relieve some of that pressure. Ooh, burst still available for both sides. Hey, MFCR is that finally gonna get a chance. Oh, no meter sight, 24 carats. We fully loaded. Uh-oh, gets a throw in the back turn. Overhead comes through, burst is available. He's locked out of burst. The super, does he kill him? It's gonna be real close here. Bridget surviving. She's got plenty of meter herself. Super Nuna also with the burst available, and he uses immediately, but no, the skates get stuffed. 
as wow. Fireball. You can already hear Florida alive for that boy. Looked for the kickstart, my heart. Not quite going to be able to close the distance there. MFCR says, don't, don't worry about it. I'll come to you. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry, dog. Ooh, I'm going to let my projectile do the talking. Oh, DP does not work out. Has to go for the burst there. Good from Noon, though. And a good contest afterwards. Mm-hmm, setting up shot. I mean, Noon took that first round very convincingly right by MSCR. Ooh, he showed the fortitude of a champion, able to bounce back two rounds straight. And now he's going to get another chance. You never want a headbutt a saying. Good defense, Noon. Oh, okay. Just a way oh. counter hit huge. A lot of damage off of this. Not quite going to beat up, I don't think. Yeah, Ooh. still going to have a little bit of life left, but 50 meter positive bonus for MFCR, and he chills. Yeah, for real. And now, MFCR. Trying to close out this last round right here. Only needs a little bit of damage with that jump D. Always plaguing the folk. Goes with a reasonable super, but he's got the meter to make it safe. YRC before he can actually pull that off so he doesn't keep his turn going. That was very smart from Noon. Oh, and he plugs the overhead in from MCR. He wants this round. He smells blood in the water, and he gets it. Wow, put the chest out. Able to do it. Potentially going to go up 2-0 to zero here. Noon, you need an answer. Almost back to the burst, though. That astral projection. My man's reaching to the ancestry lands for that one. Oh yeah, not getting caught on the jump D this time. Very good stuff. The discipline from MCR knowing the switch up is coming dead red. We are pie room neighborhood. Crossed up though. Good block. And that was a kickstart. That was a crazy empty low. My man just floated at you, bro. You think I'm gonna press something? Nah. No, tried to set up the yo-yo, yeah. not gonna work out. MFDR breaking out of pressure. There's the throw. Opportunity again, but nice block in the overhead this time. Yeah, from that distance, it doesn't look like the yo-yo setup is pretty safe. Might be and he just caught new pressing buns on the other end, but either way, first out. Loon, he knows this is all important to step the bleeding right now. You don't want to give MCR a 2-0 lead, and wow, that jump he kept her in the air way longer than I thought it was going to. Oh, oh Roger, stop! Oh, oh, the flash kick straight through it, though! Wow, what a block. Noon, the defense. Oh, oh, and he makes everything! Out. The movement again, that's really, I feel like, the hallmark of Noon's style, and you can see it coming out here. Yeah, and that ability to, oh, immediately alter her air trajectory with going forward with the roll and the air backdash, beautiful bait out. But right now, you are in the lion's den, fam. You're looking like fresh meat out here. FD to get some distance and a great 2K, and you see the fake on the overhead to get the throw. Let's get it. Definitely respecting that flash kick a lot. Kickstart goes for the overhead this time. Looking out a little bit, you can see Noon, he's just uh, oh, holstering the pressure sometimes because of the respect for the flash kick. MFCR, though, coming through with the low go low, too deep with the Steph Curry range, 2-0. That missile drop kick from so damn deep, bro. Right. He's just never ready for it, never. Back to, okay, straight back in, no hesitation from the two. I like the confidence from Noon to try and continue through. There's the throw into the corner, gets him again. I love this from MCR right now, right? We saw the establishment of the close S repeated pressure before. That's why he does the close S and then the tick throw this time. My man is just keeping him in solitary confinement in this corner. Pass 50 bar now, too. Positive bonus to build up. I love that. Good just block, but unfortunately gets nothing for it. Noon on his last leg after a perfect. We have no safety net here now, baby. Don't want to go down to that loser's bracket. Right now, he uh, cannot afford another round drop. Oh, the skate on in, 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 in early, but he just cannot get the read on MFCR's flash kicks. We saw it towards the end of that uh, game two round, but besides that, Mance has been very accurate. Oh, the safe jump is there that time, and no meter to cancel. You got to make this man pay. Grip of damage come through. Good block in the overhead. Gets low this time, though. Plenty of meter. How do you spend it? How are you going to get the opportunity? Finds a touch here and should be able to send out Roger to handle things. The Aura Auras. Yeah, that was unfortunate for MFCR. He saw the scramble. He's so good at reacting to them, but the yo yo went off and it actually hit him before he could do anything. He was looking for Red RC. Oh, no. This is a real this. chance here. Already throwing. He's so good at establishing the pressure and then knowing when Noon is going to down back. Not going to break the wall with the super. Going to hold on to it for now. He's got a burst available as well. I want to put it past him to throw that thing out. Oh, he doesn't need it. The 6P is there. Noon gets his burst back, but the combo was burst safe anyway. MFCR starts it with a 3 0. You see that? <laughs> Little rock, paper, scissors between the two, but mm -hmm. in the end, wow, MFCR, and you see, he's having smart like that. Oh, he's got the, yeah, the valence, the Venezuelan pin, the TNS pin on the other side of that hat. My man's just repping, repping time for real. Absolutely. So good stuff. MFCR heading through the winner's bracket. Noon, though, still alive.
obviously. You earned your spot in the winner's side. You get two chances today. Not a lot of people can say it. That's a good point. That's a good point for sure. That's the privilege you get when you start in the winner's bracket from top eight, not having lost just yet. But, man, Florida about to be electric, bro. MFCR winner's finals, and we could have an all-Florida winner's finals coming up with our next match as well because, as you know, if you are just tuning in, we did go over the bracket a little bit earlier. The other half of winner's semis is Test Your Luck from Canada versus Marvello, one of the Florida yes. Iridian staples. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you look at how the bracket has planned out, I do believe there's the potential for a Florida top three. But we'll have to see how it goes. Let's go back to Jake, and we're going to get our next match rolling. Were you excited for Miguel right there? That was, that was a match. Dang. This next one is going to be even more hype because the coolest samurai I've ever seen in fighting games is about to be on screen. The man from Canada, as Ringe and Proxy said, it is test your luck. We gotta get my man Jake one of these cough drops. Bro, I'm about to throw one at him. I got one back. I went to sleep at 3 a.m. He was still outside, so I know he's struggling. All right. Mm. I see movement. Mm. Show me something. Is this the, the stick caddy? The pad caddy? <laughs> Suspense is killing ooh, me. Ooh. <laughs> I just gotta start grooving, bro. Mm, 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 mm. Is that new Drake for all my dogs? Oh, let's go! I like this jacket. Absolutely, coming in hot. Test your luck, TYL, a consistent performer online, offline, and everywhere in between. Repping Canada and repping a uh, definitely one of the nastiest Nagoriukis you get to see here in NA. Oh yeah, 100 percent, bro. He wears this to the rave or what? I'd be a fly outfit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> she bursted the hug? What was that? <laughs> My man got guard broken on the hug? I'm, I'm so confused. Good stuff to test your luck, though. I'm feeling the beats. I'm feeling the beats 100%. I can't believe you said he got guard broken. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, this next player, like we said, Florida native, comes from a land of another game where there were mega men all around. But now, King of the Eastern Chip Kingdom, it is Marvello. Oh, my man got bodyguards. Oh, oh. Man, look at the way he came out. Flip flops and all. This man is Florida for real. He's built for it. The, I got paparazzi? What oh, is that's this? what I'm saying. They're like, this is Marvello. You don't know. I've been following him since Marvel 3. He's my favorite player. <laughs> he's trying to crazy. I learned everything from him. I know. I mean, he's so good. He's so good. I'm so glad he's playing Chip now. Hey, and there's a little bit of selfie action on the way to the ring. You love to see it. I, I, believe, he's, uh, I believe he's uh, winged up by all of South Florida. Obviously, oh, okay, one of the, okay. the, the pillars of that community. Trust the Flynn's Gaming and all that they do uh, down there in Miami. So flow in the building. Good catch. Let's go. We saw what happened to acoustics yesterday. I not about, everybody I, can catch. I didn't want to bring it up, bro. <laughs> oh, not, let's not beat it over. He hit him in the hands, bro. Come on. Both hands. <laughs> That's one of those that Tom Brady yelled at his receivers about. Uh, he was like, I hit you in the numbers, team. What's oh, your problem? I think, I think when I look at this matchup between these two, uh, honestly and truly, it's, uh, I'm a little scared for Marvello. Oh, okay. I think that this is one of those matchups that can be very, very volatile. Chip, sure. obviously, when he gets positive bonus, we can get that advantage. When he's able to be the one that's kind of setting the pace, mm -hmm. things work out. But TYL has a very particular style about him, right? That I think that it can be difficult to close the gap sometimes because, uh, I don't know, his in-and-out game is just better than most. Yeah, 100%, right? It's going to be uh, – that is a tough draw for Marvello to not only go up against the Nago, but one as – good with mobility and the ability to kind of keep up with Marvello's chip as much as Test Your Luck can do. Now, I think one of the things that Chip has a little bit better in this matchup now is the fact that at least Nago takes more damage with the blood meter, right? Like, yes. that's one of the more recent changes for the character. So, some of that aspect of this matchup where you got to hit him like 20 times and he's got to yeah. hit you twice, maybe you got to hit him 18 times instead of 20 now. So, it's a little bit better for Marvello. Marvello is actually my pick to win the whole tournament. I respect that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's his time. You know, he's been consistently grinding it out in this game, entering everything that he possibly can. He's got great results already. He's got the home field advantage here as well. I think he's going to do it, man. 
I mean, I, I don't think a lot of people would disagree. He's definitely in the zone. If there was ever a time, there was ever a time for you to. Oh! Brother! How are you just gonna, he put the <laughs> fist out. He was like, no, first you're gonna change it to a handshake and then I'm not even gonna shake that hand anyway. <laughs> Wow. The game outside the game. Like, he's too pleased <laughs> oh with himself God. right now. Like, he is trying not to crack a smile. He was like, mm -hmm. Oh, man. But focus up. He ain't got time for the smiles, bro. Match about to start. And it is going to be dangerous. 99 seconds, always volatile between the two. I was going to say, when that 72 font size counter comes in, you ain't going to be smiling. The IMAX. For real. Uh, Ooh, I like my play. These players real anime. We are letting the intros rock again. Let me shut up so the characters can talk. That's hard. The unsheathing <laughs> of Nagoriyuki's sword. I don't know why it hits so hard for me right now. I don't think I've ever appreciated that sound effect the way it needs to be appreciated. Ooh. Well, right now, Marbello already taking to the skies. But Tessia Luck, as you mentioned, man, he's got great mobility on this character that kind of, like, it takes uh, uh, getting used to with the mobility with him, right? Like, he's got somebody with the Fukios and whatnot, but obviously very slow walk speed, not a very fast jump. So let's go, Marbello, though, already. And he's so good at confirming into the super to get that wall break. Because as you mentioned, Chip, positive bonus abuser. Absolutely. A potential win condition, honestly, with the block string. Goes for the wire scene, does break out. Has one more opportunity to get stay on speed and fight 6-H, and he's able to get the jab, but afterwards the blood pump, that's an easy kill, Marvello catches out on the round. A great awareness from Marvello right there, not trying to get too antsy or aggressive, realized that the blow was gonna pop, just backed up, and he was like, need a little bit of damage, it's no big deal, and he's ready with the punch on the other side, and checking the boot, he owes the jump deep, still poking. Oh, okay, Rekka, follow up into the clone, oh, and just mauling with the 6K. He tried the FD, he still hit him with the heels of the Jesus sandals. Oh, get off me. He was full screen. Yeah, he knew, oh though. He was God. like, that sword, I know your range, doggo. Don't get it twisted. Oh, oh, and in the overhead, Bonsai real quick. See Otter cameos. You can be a ninja, too. DIL, swig of water, restabilize. You see, uh, shout out to everybody out here, 11 a.m. So I can't get enough. Yeah, Give baby. me my stride, That's baby. what I'm talking about, Man. definitely, bro. Big ups to everybody that's coming through for the first game of the arena today. It's going to be a hot one. Oh. Knocked out. This is huge, especially already in the corner. What is the double food kill? Actually, gets a lot of real estate up good, but now look at the blood starting to build up, and Marvello gets advantage. Exactly. You saw Tessie Lucky. He had to start hesitating, right? Because he couldn't just go into the Beyblade any of these specials anymore because of where the blood gauge was at. Marvello immediately took that moment of hesitation for his own offense, but he can't make enough happen in this round. Yeah, tried to dash block through, wasn't quite able to get there. And I like that you highlight that because Marvello, one of the best dash blockers in the business, yep. man. He always is on point with that. Oh, yeah. For Marvello, when I think Marvello, I think grounded footsies. This guy is so good at taking space and taking space safely. As Chip, you don't really think about people being risk adverse, but somehow Marvello manages to do it in footsies. And there we go. The wall break. Positive bonus. Already has 50 on top of it. Yeah, I'm so impressed with Marvello. He's never lazy about it, right? The BRC going to slow you down. Let me get that overhead combo. Oh, and then I got the red version. Just, just in case you want to get real gang warfare with it. Oh, 6K. Feels unblockable right it now. Does. It does. The heels are tapping. That helmet is not helping him protect his head. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, 5K. Yeah, you always forget. What a poke. I think it was the air block, too, for Marvello a little bit more blocks than he was expecting. Oh, and the patience from Tested Luck right now. Marvello in a very dangerous position in the corner. No defensive options, but somehow, some way, perfectly topped up, catching a region. Let's start teaching. God. And he oh. makes the burst as well. Unbelievable. Gets the punish straight into the barrage. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but still, nah. an optimal situation for Marvello. He gets a mix here. Stage change plus friends. He's got no invincible reversal right now. No meter to his name, no YRC. And the cross up to close it out, Marvello. Of 2 0 here. On the verge of repeating MFCR's performance. Florida Winners Files. Florida Winners Files, I, I baby. I, I wouldn't be mad at it. I see, though, TYL, he's got anything to say about it. Slow Do things down. One. I like this, though. No switch expected. Oh, my God. The and there goes your life bar. <laughs> the Shizu, bro. Immediately put a Marvello 50%. I hope you were trying to play with a handicapped health bar. 
Oh. The game of Blade. We respect them right now again. As soon as Tessie Lens get into that level two blood, it's a little bit tough for him to go as wild as he does at the start of the round. But look at the in and out with the move, yo. That was so sick. Good FD there. Build some oh. room, but unfortunately, the life bar turning to dwindle. Actually pulled out the tap dust. It doesn't work, Marbello. There's no way, right? I mean, he can run it, bro. I believe. He's almost at 50% tension as well. And yeah, look at the delay on the record. Catches him, and now he got him high. Oh, yeah. He wants to keep a slump god, baby. Ski mask style. Oh, what a trade. Oh, oh. and he gets the footsies again. Burst comes out. Give he me makes that. it. Give me that. Marvello brings it back. One more. One more. Marvello potentially just going to run this through. Three games straight could have happened. What a trade. Indeed, Shizu at the start. Very tough option to contest for anybody in the game. Oh, with a good block in the cross up, we saw that earlier. Test your luck starting to evolve, starting to adapt. But oh, the bonsai catches a big mash. And we taking him to the Raptors, baby. Say hi to Sting for me. Serious? Are you serious? He ends in mix. He has Oki from there. For real, son. Keep him locked down. Oh, and the nine frame far S. That's a potent footsie tool. Marvello in winner's finals. Casual. <laughs> My man's cooked, sauteed. Florida with the 6-0 in winter semis to get into winner's finals. Wow, unbelievable for Marvello playing it the way that he knows he can. Again, though, man, did that in shorts and the flip-flops with no socks. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, he's, he is set up right now to where when this is done, the jersey comes off, he's already dressed for the beach, dog. That's what he's I'm on his way out. He's, he's not like... taking the belt to the beach, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and the belt, that's it. I don't care who's out here taking pictures. Big up to Marvello right now, man. He's going to be a winner's finals up, a, up against MFCR. That is going yes. to be explosive, to say the least, man. There's going to be plenty of fireworks for that winner's finals, of course. But we still got plenty of matches to go before mm -hmm. that, right? We got to start these losers quarterfinals, or excuse me, losers around one top eight matches. Test your luck at Marvello already in the books. The JoJo and Creator Adventure and Lord Knight still to come. Going to be a great top eight. There's a lot to come through. Back to Jake in the ring, though. Jake, who we got next? Sorry, I just got a little dreamy over my picture with Barvello. This guy, bro. It looks so good. He did really well, and we've got even better players coming up as well because now we're on the loser side of things, and they've got to fight for their lives here. They got one chance, heaven or hell. We know how they rock. And this player coming up, they say that they are the most honest Viking in all of EMEA. <laughs> It's not too I don't know if that's real. I don't know if there's an honest bike in but it. <laughs> it's the JoJo. Mm -hmm. oh. He's gonna take you for a ride, apparently. Hey, and there it is, coming out to the stage. He said, as we, uh, as the self-proclaimed, uh, oh, most fair, most honest. Oh. Hey, yo. Throwing the flower, I like that, okay. And pointing at the camera, okay, the JoJo. Got some juice to him right now. Honest biking, though. That was a real good downplaying strat, I gotta say. I know, I definitely respect that. If you're gonna make it into top eight, you might as well get some, get some mileage out of it. <laughs> <You know? Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I got some camera time, I'll let him know. That was, honestly, I'm, I'm quite inspired. I need a picture with the JoJo now after that entrance. Do you have an extra rose? Uh, not, really. not really, no more roses. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll get it later. All right. Well, we've got to talk who's coming out now because we just saw Flynn Arcade's own Marvello put on an excellent show. And it is none other. I don't even need to give him an introduction, honestly. Creator! Oh, let him know. Holding up the hitbox, holding up the weapon of choice. Oh, oh the gloves? My man's is coming to put the paws on you for real? Now, if you play like that, I'll be really impressed. No, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The creator, as you said, another Florida player here, another That's player cool. playing out of South Florida. And I uh, is going to be rocking the Giovanna. So uh, taking a character that I think uh, wow. a lot of people don't oh. have the belief in. Yeah, most definitely, right, Giovanna? I, it, yeah, for sure. I think the character is not believed in as much as she should be. Don't step on your glasses, bro. I'm very scared. They all see Jake's face. Did the glasses get stepped on, Jake? I don't know if Jake can hear me. I hope they didn't. I saw him almost catch the glasses with the gloves, and I was about almost. to be really impressed. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. Shopping up, though. I'm very scared. Up. No, I just see one half of the glasses in his hands. No. Okay. We're good? We'll be fine. 
Duct tape, gaff tape. It's, you know, we have production here. I know we, we can have do gaff anything. Tape. I've seen Mythbusters. <laughs> Duct tape can do a lot. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. We're in there. We're in there. Look at that. They they just are be able to put back together easily. No problem. Yeah, there we go. All we right. Like we're that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, one crisis averted, so now we need to move to the next one here. Yeah. Biken versus Giovanna. Oh, yeah, that could definitely be a crisis for sure, right? TY, very good out of Japan, obviously. Still did a lot of work with Giovanna for a long time. So I want to see if the creator can do the same thing, right? I think it's character that is a little underrated, so to speak. Maybe not so much now that we've seen her capabilities at the top level. And I'm glad that we're going to see creator display some more right now. Yeah, the character is very solid, very fast. Up against the bike, and I'm very interested. I don't really see this matchup much. I want to see how much the dojo is really willing to parry because Giovanna is a very aggressive character, right? She's got the dash normals all day, every day. She's trying to get in your face like that. She's also got ways like the, uh, the whip kick and the spiral arrow and like the split kick in the air that she kind of like ends her block strings with a gap for you to react with yeah. and then like we said the parry very fast right very damaging so i kind of want to see how that meta is going to play out and we definitely have to uh there's one thing we absolutely have to touch on 2d you got to be careful on the ground she is so good at being able to find those knockdowns in very sure. odd situations so we'll see how it works in the footsies here and see who is going to be the one to uh take to the skies to decide this through Oh, I'm a little nervous about this one. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> the electricity in the air, baby. Yeah, the 2D from Giovanna, we got to watch it. And the 2H from Biken is one of her best starters, right? Yeah. So oh, that's yeah. another one that very long range on the ground. We can see if these players are trying to utilize that at all. Oh, wow. Immediately after the whip 5K, just had the 6P ready. My man was like, whip button, 6P. You already know clashes as well in the corner. We keep it on lockdown. Yeah, clashing with the DP in such an odd situation. Oh. Going to go for the spinning, the dog, the kick, the center to the wall. Great dance finding. I got super meter 10 seconds into the game. Oh, the throw a little too far. Forced to burst. Odd situation, but an anti air comes through. The JoJo pressures back on with the Tommies. Yeah, and it's a Tommy. It causes you to float down when you get hit in the air like that, right? So at least it gives Biking the ability to like close the gap and get some OP because of your slow fall. But right now, Creator not giving him any damn thing. Runner back real quick. Yeah, Geo sitting on that passive buff as well with having all that meter stock up. So it's good to be able to uh, kind of build your meter up like that and then be able to catch out all at once. 100%, man. In the corner, ooh, try to get for the throw bait right there. Just something to the JoJo. Not gonna bite whatsoever. But all from that distance, yeah, we got long range buttons, baby. That age is something to worry about. Oh, something up her sleeve, though. The 2S, nice blocking the wow. Yozantzen, tries to go for the cross up. Yeah, the blocking on the first cross up attempt. That is very, very strong start for Creator here. And he probably wanted the wire, see, I'm not sure, but either way, BRC was not taking advantage of. Got another oh, jump. Okay, yes. that's air throw. Damn it, Creator getting his maul on. Yeah, that's three times. What it really looking like Booker T out here? <laughs> Say it with the spin of Rooney. Yeah, <laughs> bro, three times. She looked at her hand first. Oh my god, dude. Filling it in the air. Yo, Florida boys are out here. Are they even going to lose a game in round one of top eight? <laughs> like, dual one. I'm trying to hold the bias in. I'll be, you have no idea. I'm biting my tongue so hard. You love oh, to man, see it is all I'll say. You love to see it. I was going to say, you wait for <laughs> until the championship's home. Then that's when the real pop up going to begin. Oh, OK. Oh, great block, man. On these rushes, they is not getting any mileage out of them. That's up against the 5K, strike throw. Oh, oh reverse tried the parry. Yeah, he saw for the hand out there. Wanted the reward, but creator. My God, son! This is for real, for real Zoolander right now. In every situation, it just seems to end in the corner. Creator is somehow just finds so much real estate. Even if he loses 99, he still finds a way to buy the space. You can see, even here, even on these trades, the JoJo gets walked to the corner somehow. He's just magnetized to it. Literally dog walk. That's what she got on her back, bro. Oh, the parry finally working out. You can see how much damage. It's such a big reward. She can get it going. Right now, no creator. This weather in the storm, he's willing to take all that risk gauge with this. He's not panicking whatsoever. RC exclamation point for help. But look at these blocks and the perfect time to Amare put that far as poet. Yeah, we're straight into the fatal. That's the way. Sending S. Closes the distance. That's a huge counter. You had to burst. You were dead. Yeah, caught a reacher right there with 100% tension on the other end. He was going to be able to confirm it a super really quick. Speaking of which, RC here. Oh, trying to carry to the wall to get that extra damage. Covers the throw away, but tries to press the butt into the very after. Wow. Absolutely over the shoulder, put into the dirt. Jojo trying to stave off the floor to 9 0, dude. You can't let it happen. Yeah, for real, man, this is insane. Oh. Nice job. He's really starting to identify these gaps. 
<laughs> Making a bet on the parry attempt. We'll see if Creator kind of uh, hesitates for a second. Tries to look for the parry to come out to get the whip punish like he did before. Or throw. That's another big answer. Oh, tried it again. Nice. Back dash to adjust. Oh, went through. After the Kabari doesn't get too much. Jumps through to try and make the throw. Has to go for the burst instead. I like that momentum burst. Creator tries to take your claim on this. Oh, my God. Too far on that one. PRC great for recognition from Jojo to cover himself. Oh, that was a lot of block stun. Yeah, a lot of guard crank. Oh, actually dead off that. That was ridiculous right there. Blocking that in the air, maybe the extra flames of block stun. Always catching people off guard when they're on the ground. First game won by a player not from the Sunshine State. For real, that's a great point. Yeah, my God. Man, they had to go where they don't get any sunshine at all. Oh, my God. Back to it, though. There you go, the pressure to Tommy. And then there's willing to go up the space here. Even though the JoJo has been pushed to the wall so often by Creator, he's still not looking panicked in these situations where he's starting to lose real estate. Very confident, just like that fight back with the parry. That's what we talked about a little bit about this matchup, right? The Giovanna, like her main pressure on offense is kind of playing mind games with these gaps that she has. And JoJo is really exploiting them now with the parry. And that's the worst part, too, is like the JoJo is just like, oh, you want to flip coins? Let's flip coins. Yeah, exactly. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it, bro. It's, it's just such a big reward damage-wise on a parry. Finally gets the overhead, and they still have any RC to continue, but the air-to-air -air finds the big conversion there. My God! Tough situation. Guessing for game here. Whoa, my God! Goes for the Kabari. Does get the counter hit. I don't know if you have enough, though. Burst is there! Oh, good block on the cross-up. Creator still holding on to the burst here. Oh, but again! Again, JoJo is really representing that heavy. Wow, and it's just like, he, it's not even like guesses at this point, he nah. just knows, he just knows. Yeah, he's just like, bro, like, I know the pressure, you want to do something, dash 5k, dash 2s, whatever it is. Oh, and then right there as well, right? Yeah, creator's gonna have to start, like, putting a button on him and then waiting or dashing up and throw. Like, otherwise, he's getting smoked. Because it's not like he's doing it every time, he's not whipping parries, dude. Yeah, he's just, just right every time. Yeah, that's a great point, right? Like, we haven't really seen him punished for it at all. Like, one time, and it was before he had been so accurate with that. Like, ever since that one whiff, he has not missed the parry. And tune up the band. He's been fine since then. Look at that, and again, like, on that wake up, he was chilling out. Great stuff from JoJo right now. He is smelling the rhythm of creator's offense. Oh, that's oh, 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 see, yeah, that's why you gotta, you gotta change it up now, right? That's why he goes with a tick throw. Creator didn't have to parry out there anyway. PRC immediately can't get that last bit of health, though. Uh, close the oh, distance, 6 speed. speed. Uh, creator hitting that jab right. He's established the parry so heavily that he's starting to get away with a lot of other stuff. Okay. Pressure's on. Oh, stealing the turn there. Gets the seatbelt on. Goes on to a little too far. And again, breaks up the block string. He's really identified like the 6B block string too. He really has seen Creator and likes that a lot. But the trade combo, he likes that even more. Oh, Hansel. So hard. <laughs> oh, dash up, close slash, not gonna get too much, back off, 2S, I like that. Actually, Andy here is in a weird spot, and again, put him in the dirt! This parry is doing so much work, wow! Get that out of here, though, you know, Zop said, I don't want none of that. But we got 100% tension, he's trying to play those games, both players now with 50 meter, he finally gets the 6B out. I imagine JoJo trying to parry, bro. That, I, I don't know what he did, but that's been the streak he's been parrying consistently. If it's a counter hit in a situation like that, 100%. Yeah. Kabari, knockdown, dashes up. Mistimes the meat, he doesn't matter, says I'll do it again, who cares? You see again, yeah, Jojo here on set point, but creator, oh, he let the whips fly. Up kicks all day, every day, look at the damage reward off that. Oh, and then again, staying up, consistent, staying persistent. Just timing it, 50 meter available for the Jojo. Careful what he's gonna spend this on. Waits, I like that creator. Maybe patience kills though, maybe a little too cautious on that. Yeah, could be, could be. And he's on the verge of tying this up 2-0. Oh, another clean back dash right there, guys. Yeah, JoJo's pressure while he was slowed down. That's not easy to do. And the discipline on the defense, I'm really impressed with it. You can see not letting him sneak any damage in. Burst is here for JoJo now. Jumps again, no punish. The patience though, yeah, I think he's looking a little bit timid as you kind of identify. Creator, he has some opportunities to close this out. The parry, that's huge damage. 100% tension on both sides. Opens him up with the VRC and closes it out. The JoJo surviving in the tournament. Absolutely. Dude, good to see that international talent fighting their way through. And I will say with confidence after watching it, you're a liar. It's not honest. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're just lying. You're just lying. My man, he's like, Perry. <laughs>
That was big stuff. That was great stuff right there for sure. And yeah, I think you correctly identified kind of creators like switch up of the pace and style yep. that he went with, right? Like you could see, it was one of those where he started playing not to lose rather than to win. 100% agree. Yeah, yeah, right? And he was like, I'm trying to be safe about it. I don't want to do any of this, like, take any unnecessary risk. And he got gold bursted. And it's like, as soon as your opponent has 100% tension, anything's on the table or everything's off the table, however you want to put it. Say, yeah, either way. Definitely. <laughs> Things can get out of hand for sure, especially with Bite. She's got the gun, dude. It's yeah. the best projectile in the game. But we got another match to come through. Back to the ring and back to the grind. Yeah, everybody. Can we give it up one last time for Creator, please? That was an amazing showing in top eight. Florida, baby. Yeah. Loving it, loving it. And uh, we have a character that I know a lot of people love. It is a mix-up specialist coming to the scene pretty soon. I would say one of the best in the world at the character. Coming up, you're ready for a ride because it's time for the adventure. A pioneer of the Jacko. Really was on the forefront for a whole lot of the tech and strategies developed with the character. My man is excited to be in top eight. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, that's the energy. Does CEO provide insurance for the cameraman? Because I feel like homeboy's about to get dumped. Yeah, let him know, adventure. Oh, man. But like you said, Innovating and uh, definitely in the front of, uh, of Jacko in a lot of situations definitely one of the first people we saw Really take this character to a place where it was it was worth being scared of. I love how excited he is. Wow And I love that energy. I'm so happy to see you in this top eight man. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's right That's how you come into the ring. That was great and uh, this next player is very familiar with coming into uh, top eight appearances Beast Coast owns, say bonjour for Lord Knight. I'm just guessing this is the Fire Emblem track. Oh, what a read. <laughs> that, that, that's Lord Knight. <laughs> He's going to walk it up. Ooh, as, he says, as he said, no stranger to situations like this. LK, he's all familiar and all business dude. That's Damn, okay, hard, okay, bro. Yeah. Okay, you're looking good too, bro. Looks like you're in better shape than the last time I saw you. I respect that. Oh, let him hear the noise. That's Arxis legend Stevie B right there. What is this? I don't know what flag that is. <laughs> I'm uncultured. Haitian flag. Oh, let's go. Shout outs to Haiti. Got a few real close Haitian friends, so big ups. Sliding on in, LK, like we said, a, uh, no, uh, no stranger to situations like this, to high pressure, getting into the top eight of multiple games across a, uh, I'm going to say, let, let me not uh, overdrive it, but the, uh, a very storied career for this guy. Oh, 100%, <laughs> man. Yeah, exactly. He is a legend in the anime community. My man is aging with grace. He looks great, bro. I really like the, the salt and pepper going on. I got to say, too, just uh, shout out to his content. I actually really like getting to watch his uh Broken fighting games yeah, type of stuff. Yeah. He, he's putting out some stuff. So definitely check check the boy out on YouTube. He's doing big things for sure. Yeah, I really like the kind of approach he has, the content creation, a lot of cool discussions yeah. that he's had. I know, like, with Street Fighter VI development, he got a lot of tips from, like, the players that you don't get a lot of tips from, right? Like, mm -hmm. the punks and the high-level players of the world that, like, he really wanted to kind of get a high-level player's perspective on it as a high-level player himself from a different game, right? So that's always something I enjoy hearing people talk about. But, yeah, man, it's going to be a good one. Obviously, we just saw one bike and leave, another bike and joins the fray, if he's still on that as his main. We'll have to see. I mean, there's the there's uh, obviously the potential for the for the milia as yeah, well. There's always, other things always. that can come through. And for adventure, we talk about it all the time when it comes to the Jacko. I mean, there's a potential for some other things to come out too. But I'm expecting to see the minions come out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like adventure, the tried and true Jacko, one of the best Jackos in the entire world. As you heard Jake Ryan introduce him, and yeah, man, he's going straight to business as well. Oh, oh yeah, that, that was the last character. Just still hovering over the Giovanna. We're going to switch to the bike, and he's looking to execute. Yeah, as far as matchups goes, I definitely really like that. I feel like when you're playing Milia, uh, one thing you always have to remember is that it's, uh, it is just as important to be hard to catch as it is to mix people up. Yeah. And that kind of gameplay can give Jacko a little too much room to breathe. 
So I do like Viking being uh, – Viking is going to be consistently positioned in better places to make Jacko feel uncomfortable. Yeah, so actually, as far as character spreads, I really, really like Viking into this. And one of the things you brought up last time, too, that we didn't really get to see was the gunshot, right? And that's yes. a super good answer in this matchup because obviously Jacko cannot block while she's holding a minion. So if he ever snipes out one of those long-distance options, that's big damage for Stevie B. Here we go. Mankind Getting into our other side of losers here. It is a damn shame that one of them has to go. Yeah, 100%, bro. Both of these players very much fan favorites. Let me hear what the characters got to say this time, brother. Yeah, I wouldn't try to talk to Viking. Yeah, yeah I'm mad yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You, you, honestly, you got that. Let's just yeah. <laughs> when she starts with I'm shapeless, I'm like, ah, right, you beat me. You That's, on your Bruce yeah. Lee stuff? I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> oh, okay. Stops one minion there. Is able to get a little more aggressive here. We talk about it from Jackal all the time. This character, essentially, in some ways, uh, kind of is a win condition character. If you can get multiple minions out and get to the corner, uh, you can sometimes just auto end rounds. It feels like Exodia sometimes, bro. Oh, 100%, man. Like, especially when he has that 50% meter, he puts up the red flag. You don't get to play after that. So, obviously, that's what he's going to be going for. But Lord, now you can see, already so good at sniping out the minions, even with rising buttons like that. And that's what you got to do in this match. You got to keep that at the forefront of your mind. Oh, unfortunate, though. We tie together now. YRC out. YRC is also incredibly strong in this matchup for situations like that. Because it breaks the minion, but after the seatbelt is applied, a little bit of a weird interaction in the end. Got the 6P out at the last second there in the attack before she landed. Took advantage of Lord Knight, pressed some buttons, but not that one. And then, yeah, it's the Kabari with the follow up to close it out. Yeah, I mean, she called her shot, ready to be cut free. Go straight through with the Kabari follow up. I like that. 100%, man. Lord Knight will encourage some damage nice and early via the minions here. Yeah, he's got no meter to really pop off with now, and he gets frame trapped up. That's mad damage. And she guard cranks so easily. Oh my lord, bro. You be eating damage up against this character. What a nasty tick throw. Give me that OTG. What was that? 12 seconds gone? That was ridiculous. Yeah, the Elysium Driver just puts you in such a messed up spot. Even if it doesn't break the wall, you're just so susceptible to that. She just dashes on you with a minion. Yeah, and that's who's the out from well. That's what we saw to open the round from Jackal. It's such a potent button. Oh, but the parries are starting to come out from Lord Knight now. Taking a page out of JoJo's book. Okay, Tommy, spin out, Kabari to the wall, 50 meter available, jumps over wire C, I like that. No call to the Get the attacks all day, every day again. You see, it just adds up so quickly up against Jacko. You don't realize how much health you're losing just from these minion attacks. The activity on that 2D, that joint is outside, bro. Adventure, gonna be able to roll into the first victory. That's who deep, bro. It is a menace to society right there. All the active frames, great traveling distance-wise as well. Oh my god, and like you said, using your foot is there. And I looked like it was same side, goes for the minion attack, but oh, 2D in response. Yeah, yeah, that is a huge damage starter right there for Viking. You do not want to eat that, fam. Okay. Out, back dash, I like that. Give up room, not afraid oh, to, but unfortunately, this maybe is what I should... talked about. Huge damage starter, bro. Look at the life being melted. I'm gonna use a super. Yeah, maybe you should fight for space a little more often here. Go yeah. underneath, but unfortunately, the red RC does get the connection here. Lord Knight gonna take the round. Deleted in an instant. Lord Knight responding. Match the veteran, right? He's never gonna go quietly into the night. That is for Dan Shore. Man, Adventure is so good at making the most out of these minion hits. The pressure is so on point as well. Getting the sandwich up, but just as I say that, Lord Knight finds the gap. Oh, okay. It's gone. Yup, oh, gonna red, go for the red flag's on me. It ain't your turn, baby. You gotta sit here and hold this. And even with one minion, look at the chip damage. Just look at how much got done from just that one super. But okay, Lord Knight, opportunity. Yeah, Lord Knight with a perfect jump out. You saw Adventure. He did risk the throw on the ground right there. Oh, the back dash BRC. Let me get that whip punish. That was nasty. Oh, doesn't matter though. Six speed. Push available. Don't be a hero though. I like that. Save it. Just go into the next round. Keep yourself safe, consistent. Yeah, that's one of the things up against Jacko that you can't get greedy about, right? You can't autopilot a burst away because, like, she has so many good ways of just dealing damage outside the burst radius. Okay, Judy, the party starter has consistently been for both players. That jump out as well, man. That jump is such a menace. 
Oh, okay. The dash cancel. There you go. Good burn for JD. He's been going for that so often. And finally, we get to see the fruits of the labor. He's able to check the jump in the craziest way. Oh, man. The cannon, cannon, Lord Knight. Set him to the moon, not just yet. And Reggie's still gonna have another chance at life here. Plenty of meter to make a comeback as well. He's gonna spin it on the YRC and Lord Knight. Since I've seen that one before, fam. I'm not gonna let him escape so easily. One time, Lord Knight told me he drinks the Croy for the memes, and I've never looked at him the same. <laughs> so, just a fun fact. That's a really fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> Back to it again, one to one. Pressure right away there, Adventure. Trying to win things at 99, unfortunately gets pushed away and now into the seatbelt and you know Viking, she's always trying to be in control of these situations. Most definitely, and we are really burst out right there. He wanted to be at the whim of Adventure in the corner. Jacko is so overwhelming, suffocating. And right now, speaking of which, Lord Knight gonna be the one that's not laying his foot off the pedal. Oh my god, and then 99 seconds knows Adventure, like we said before, has been so aggressive at these reset situations. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, she is also a part of that 9 frame far S club that goes really far, so that point is very strong. So it's really gets rubber banded straight to an ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, with the 6 speed, it's still okay. The JD fireball and just chucking out the minions here. But LK, okay, not deterred. Yeah, tried to dash in right there. Maybe he tried to check the minion, but it's hard to time, man. You never know when Adventure's actually going to let it rip. ERC is slowing right down real quick. Parry on a cross of attempt. That's an easy answer. Oh, but no, the back row incident. Adventure's going to trap him with two minions. We got a YRC to get rid of all the pressure. Good spot for Lord Knight. Oh, okay. Those on some crosses up. 6B again. Summons the minion. Double attack command. Tries to go for 5D. First time it goes for it. It's checked. Man, and you saw Lord Knight during the start of the move right there. The PRC drift forward just brings adventure into brawl range. Able to get that off before the button comes out. Well, sandwich up. Yeah, you see Lord Knight, he tries to press, right? He had found the gap successfully in the previous round, so he was confident then, but Adventure sure enough the pressure. Wow, a lot of damage was gonna come through there. Maintains pressure. Lord Knight first in response, just as one little momentum to build. Definitely Lord Knight. Be able to drag him almost all the way to the corner here. He said, oh, crank on the guard, but man, he stayed just outside that 2D range, expertly spaced. Wow, and just steps over the low one. The Irish should step yeah. over, bro. Just straight in the face. Yeah, like y'all couldn't see they hadn't switched back to the player camps yet, but Lord Knight let out a little fist pump when he got that. He was looking exactly for that 2D. He was like, bro, I know what Jack looks like to do at this range. I've just gotten hit, counter hit by him multiple times already in this set. Let's counter that. Perfect stuff from the veteran. And adventure. A little bit of a slowdown. Thinking about things, not expecting a switch. Straight back in. Two to one. And I respect that from an adventure, right? Because the way that last round ended, it felt like a hard call out. It felt like you knew exactly what you were gonna do. So at that point, you gotta slow it down real quick, realize that the autopilot games are not gonna get the EW. Okay, so got the burst out. Trade comes through and is able to actually get out of the corner. That's huge. But the JP is the classic guilty gear combo. And he gets more. Yeah, for real. Oh, and then Lord Knight sneaking in the dome piece. Shout out to Pumpkin. Oh my god, are you serious? The evasion from this guy? And then the throw tech on the ground, I didn't even realize Viking was landed yet. Oh, okay. oh he was on set again, chasing him down. Lord uh, Knight on set point. Okay, he's playing perfectly around the character. Yeah. Just in terms of Jacko, his spacings, the way he's kind of approaching neutral, and the way he's able to use his IDs to get away from things has actually genuinely, like, he's writing the book on it right now, dude. Absolutely, this is a clinical way to play the matchup right now, as perfect as his posture. Oh, back to the original side, and the damage. Oh my god, unfortunately, the thesis does not include oh, blocking oh minions. Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> Yeah, and a little knight also knocked to himself right there. He tried the challenge in that gap, right? But that was one of the times Adventure didn't agree. He made sure the attack came out. Now he's still in this game. Step one again, though. He yeah, the minion, but unfortunately takes a grip of damage oh forward my. here. Yeah, going up one minion, but Adventure doing such a good job keeping two on the screen at this point. Putting one back up. That jump has deleted the poor boy. Oh. Oh, he's spinning. Oh, but the counter hit actually one of the rare times you'll see Adventure confirm that. Look at the FDs. He wants that space for his life, but Viking does such a good job of bringing that close quarters combat. Tommy afterwards is able to evade. 
for the 2D afterwards. Danger penalty actually taking a little bit of meter there. Do not go into negative. That'd be huge. Oh, big counter here from the mention this time. Can't get too much off, but he tried to parry that time, but didn't happen. Okay. Slow, steady, the pace we need. Three minions out. Good evasion. He's trying to chase him down right there. The big jump S couldn't get much more off of it. He went with the immediate jump cat, so maybe trying to bait out a YRC from Adventure or a Merc, perhaps. Either way, he didn't give it to him. 6P after the slowdown. Oh, oh, Adventure, he couldn't guy get the finish on the combo. And the jump D, we saw that before. Cannon, Cannon. Oh, the gold versus baited. He didn't get the punish, but he got a round of throw anyway. Okay, opportunity. Still in the seatbelt. Oh, we locked up. That's plus frames all day, but he decides to press, and the trade was all he needed. Adventure, staying alive. Yeah, it was so committal on the second overhead with the Yozansen, but you gotta respect it. Game five. Very scary indeed. Wow, the jump D deleting the minion, but it's okay. We spin it on the ground. Oh, no. This is a great job from Adventure, right? Both of his minions getting deleted, but he's making sure he's punishing Viking for doing it. Oh, wow. and then the 6 speed, the 6 speed, he's like really been on point two. You can just go straight into that. Let's go! And the Elysium driver to follow wow. through. Not quite close up to the wall, but still gets a minion set up. 5D. Tap does. Wasn't actually going to combo, but just checks the legs afterwards. Adventure. Made Lord Knight so uncomfortable in this round. The composure needs to be here. Yeah, I, I, whatever changes have gone through for Adventure, he is kind of feeling himself right now. That gold push was wild. Yeah, the man was all the way on the other side. But it's okay. Again, this pressure is just in complete control, and he'll take the meter he's got and use it. You can see Lord Knight doing a great job just uh, playing a weird air trajectory game, but he gets back from anyway. Uh oh. Uh oh. Still up. Look oh at the chip. God. Goes for the flag. Here it comes. Give me your guard bar, your meter, or your health. It's going to be one of the three, but Lord Knight somehow, some way, makes it out of the hell obstacle course again. Gold person response from so far. Both of them kind of blowing their boat. Uh, the blowing the person in a weird way. That's a crazy shimmy, though. Lord Knight, bro. He's on the verge of forcing the final round here. He's got control in this corner. You are tied to be as well, but no, goes the wrong way in adventure. Takes the set. No, no, he said, nah, you saw him. <laughs> Straight up. He went for the dab, but he was like, nah, oh he was definitely not God. happy about the option going the wrong way to close out the set. Always a rough way to go out for sure. But man, adventure from the brink of defeat right there. Stay composed, able to bring it back, and sometimes the scrambles go your way. Obviously, we got to give it up to LK, doing an amazing job making it into the top eight. A legend yeah. of the game for sure, but unfortunately, it's the I've been saying it all weekend. It's a blessing and a curse when it comes to these open brackets in the FGC. One must stay and one must go. We always we we, we know how it goes. For a second there, I thought Lord Knight was gonna do the heel turn, bro. I thought he was gonna come in and hit oh him with the big tricks. Like, bam! I'm, not, I'm in time. I'm in losers' quarterfinals, but nah, no, nah, Lord Knight would never do that. <laughs> We're just having some wrestling fun here. Thank you, everybody, right now for joining us for CEO's first top eight of the Sunday experience. We are right here in the arena. The Guilty Gear Strive has been hot and fully loaded. We got a Floridian winner's finals, home court advantage both ways. But before we get to any more Guilty Gear Strive, we're going to take a quick break. Do not go anywhere. Welcome back to CEO 2023. Finals day continues, and we are going to continue to press through with Guilty Gear Strive. Proxy and Rins to continue to drive uh, drive the ship. Well, I was going to go with the car, but the boat here in Florida. The Ocean you Center. damn right, baby. <laughs> the Ocean Center is in full effect right now. As we saw, Marvello came in out. He was ready. He was looking like Yacht Boys, 100%. But let's see how the bracket has progressed thus far for this top eight, right? We got winners finals of Floridian Affair, MFCR, TNS Zone, up against Marvello repping. What was it, Flint's Arcade out here as well? Yes. Home repping for sure. But before we get to that, we got to handle some losers quarterfinals. We got Test Your Luck versus Adventure and Super Noon versus the Dojo all coming at you in full effect right now. So it looks like our first match we're going to have coming from the losers is going to be Super Noon versus the Jojo. So we're going to have to see how Noon is able to bounce back here. Definitely had some uh, had a tough time with MFCR. Yeah. But again, as we talk about all the time, uh, you, you earned your spot. You're able to get a second chance in this bracket in the top eight. And Noon is the type of player that's not going to waste that opportunity. But the Jojo, again... Uh, a, li a liar's man. He's not. He's not fair. He's not honest. We got to. We got to do it. It's a fibber up course. there. 
But yeah, man, 100%. And Noon, you know, despite being, I mean, I think still early 20s, maybe mid 20s at this point, but I mean, he's been playing fighting games since he was like 13 years old. Like, yeah. so he has over a decade in this already, right? So he's not going to be phased too much. He's got great mental composure and be able to bounce back perhaps. But we shall see because what I'm worried about with MFCR, I'm a little bit worried about with the JoJo as well, right? We saw the flash kick accuracy. Super Noon not able to really thwart the flash kicks as much as he would have liked. We got to see how the parries come out. This is another character that, I mean, the thing about Bridget is that she has the range to not get, like, sucked in sometimes by the yeah. parry. So that's going to be a, a, perhaps a buff for Bridget in this matchup. But let's see how it plays out. Ooh! That's a, the, my favorite quote in the game. A lot of people <laughs> decline. Bridget said, oh, uh, son? <laughs> Would you like some extra bloodshed to go with that? Okay. Okay, well... Try to go for the throw very early. I like you repping that as soon as possible so you can kind of add that to the mental stack. Finds the knockdown. Pressure begins and is able to go straight for the low. This Vortex working out already. Yeah, I love it. Actually got the wall splat out of it. He built to the meter if you wanted the super, but you'll just take the charge dust break. Usually I was going to say Noon likes the BRCs on the stage change with this character, but doesn't do it there. Most is different now. Nice block and hit the low. Oh, Yosan actually gets a little bit extra damage on there. Finds a better knockdown, but can't quite do anything with it. Yeah, Jojo oh, trying to close that distance, right? He doesn't want to let Super Noon play at this distance where Bridget really excels at. What a conversion from the air to air to do the slowdown, though. Noon start. Oh, oh my god, kickstart my heart. It's just immediately put into the dirt. Too far for the burst as well, but no punish. You want to talk about kickstart my heart? That was like the adrenaline shot from Pulp Fiction, bro. Stab directly in there. Get her going again. Okay, so Jojo, nice block. Oh, and that delay. Noon was sniffing out the parry. You can see he's already trying to adjust timings. Does not want to stay predictable. That's going to be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. That's what Noon's going to have to do here. Play around with the timings of JoJo. I love that DP right there. The Vikings always like to take their turn off the raw Yozansen hitting. Ooh, seeks P out the yo-yo games. And the yo-yo actually popped in the last second. JoJo was trying to do something, but nah. Yeah, reversal came through. Doesn't work out. Kickstart once again, empty low this time. We've seen that low float so many times for Noon, and she's hitting so consistently to JoJo. Has burst, has meter, and has an opportunity here all the way to the wall. That was a crazy combo. BRC, that means we get the overhead and the follow-up here. No meter to kill her off. But this is still a scary situation for Noon. Oh, nice. Oh, awareness right there from both sides, actually. Oh. JoJo, that's the air block stuff. Yeah, you weren't going to be able to move right there. The DP lets it fly again. Not enough to kill, but the far S will do it. The confidence from Super Noon on that DP. Games on the line, life bar non existent. He lets it rip. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a far heavy slash from the stake. But he, that was a while for Super Noon to respond in a scramble like that. And the DPs are flying again, bro. Yeah, both players showed an incredible awareness in that last round, man. Super Noon, like, he built that bar on the kickstart into the follow up, like, to RC it. Like, he built it with the follow up. The JoJo having the gold burst ready with the gap. Like, both these players definitely fighting for their lives right now. Okay, one trap from the Seco. Back to off. That's up the yo yo. PRC does get the slowdown. Bridget, a little too slippery, just immediately gets away. So good, right? Just staying outside the range of fight. And so consistently, you can see even that back dash right there. He really recognized the spacing he wants to keep her at. Okay, he found the hit again. Uh, too much else to convert, finds the throw, and has the RC. JoJo not going to spend the burst here, 50 meter. Potentially could be RC forward, but instead goes for GD. Oh, no, again, that space back again. The back dash, though, yeah, I was going to say in the middle of a potentially cliff, but split legged moonsault status. Okay, noon. Going to potentially go up 2 0 here. Is that the yo yo? Gets the counter hit and is able to completely close the distance and get the kill. Okay, you see, man, he is doing such a good job staying outside this, like, jump S range, the Kabari range. JoJo just can't get comfortable with Viking in this matchup right now. Finally gets to that jump S range, gets a counter hit, but still nothing doing. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, that's fun. Really, yeah, I was going to say, really far on that. I think he had to go into, like, a media kickstart confirm. Either way. Oh. Wow, and yeah, dude, we talk about it all the time. Going for tech dose in this game without meter is such a risk. Yeah, bro, you see the life bar just melting as a result. Oh, and the Joker with 100% attention. This goes to Zansen raw. I thought he was going to BRC set him up, but he didn't even need that. Just shut down the shop. And he had two more Zansens too, bro. He was about to do it over yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> you were not out of there ever. Okay, yo-yo. Oh, trying to finesse. The Jojo yeah. just waits. Good data. 
Yeah, he wanted to bait out the parry 100% right there. Seeing how parry happy he was in that last set. But right now, another empty low paying dividends for Super Noon. Stick him up against the wall, but I don't know if he had meant to do that or just to decide to let her get off the wall. Yeah, maybe missed out on a super two good space on the kickstart my heart though. Close the distance. Elo wasn't believable that time though. Went a little too close, uh, close to the ground. Yeah, exactly. I think it's gonna be tough for her to get a jump on now. At the timing, he did the RC. Oh, tried the six p no whip punish from Noon though. Punish on the throw. Jojo, he's out looking for first here, and Super Noon's going with a first safe combo. He gives you no opportunity to do so. Very, very smart. That's definitely difficult too, but it's like one of those things where you don't want to spend your burst poorly, but I'd rather see a bad burst and make your opponent prove it than die with it. Agreed. Right? Agreed. Like at that point, it, you still have to use it like for the possibility of your opponent having an execution error, right? And listen, as long as we're going with the sports references as we have, but it's okay to go on a poster. You gotta jump though. You gotta, you gotta jump. You gotta jump. You gotta jump. Yeah, you got to, bro. <laughs> like don't get out of the way. That's just a more shameful. <laughs> Back to it though. Noon, two on the board, trying to make it three to JoJo. Trying to come home with a belt here. That would be so sick to take a belt back to the UK, but Noon, a tall wall between it. Definitely had to wait to play in this, really responded after that. Oh, winner side set. Like you said, free hugs, maybe. Oh, we giving them out big time right now. I'm convinced that's the best command on the game. I don't care. It's a, <laughs> you, can't, you can't get away from it, it's dude. It's so good. <laughs> Long distance, low crush properties. Definitely a very strong tool in that arsenal, Bridget. Oh, check the load. That Cobra. First world problem is a little too plus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just still in the throwing pool state because of the plus frame, because of the wake up. Right now, the Noonster at a deficit, but still in such control of this match. He can't be sweating it too much, but now Jojo, he's going to get some momentum. And we've seen what he's able to do with momentum, man. He can ride it. Oh. No, oh, give me that. So it really the parries have been successful on the kickstarts. That's yeah. what I've identified so far. Yeah, it's just from those spacings here, had time to be able to kind of uh, feel out the block string, does get the hit. And actually, he's able to turn into a pretty decent confirm all the way to the wall, the corner carry for this character, always consistent. I like that, and that really shallow is there right there. Noon using the big jump button to catch JoJo pressing early. Very, very smart. Ooh, might have wanted the break into the super, but the break actually yeah, broke the wall anyway. Oh, okay. With a distance, I like a back dash. Oh, Roger, just to keep it locked down in the corner right there, set up the yo yo. Oh, perfectly timed on the goal burst from JoJo right now, 24 carries. Let's get it going. Oh, no, and this is just a nightmare situation for the nude fans of the crowd. Puts against the wall, straight into the super. This is going to be a hellacious mix up. Essentially guessing for game here, but look at the resources. It, yeah, it's true. Jojo broke on the tension right now. Does that positive bonus? Tries to throw. And I said, you identified Proxy risking the throw without any meter to back it up. Good spell death, but I don't know if Noon's going to get it. If he gets the wall break here, he's going to get that extra bit of damage. And he does complete it. Great stuff from Super Noon to close out the round and the set. Man, all oh, harkening back to what you said, man. You want to risk that throw with nothing to make you safe. Oh, it is a scary, scary thing to go for. But because it's so scary, sometimes you can catch your opponent off guard with yes. it, right? Like, at this level, a lot of players are expecting players to go with some of the safest options possible. So it's like, oh, you're not going to risk that of without me here to make you safe. So that's exactly why you risk it. No, we, right. talk, we talk about that all the time. I've been saying it all weekend. I'll continue to say it because it's, it's just one of the most important things. Bad players do bad things. Good players do good things. The best players know when the bad things are the correct option. 100%. you got to know how to mix it in. 100%, man. It all comes back to me is that guy old bell curve bro it's like i'm a scrub i want to jump him i think i'm good i just want to stay on the ground and fight him i'm good i jump him again that's just how it goes bro Dude, that's absolutely. just how it goes so, so yeah big ups to noon sir he's gonna be moving on big ups to the jojo as well can i get one more cheer for the jojo bro coming out from the uk that's what i'm talking about thank y'all definitely showing him big love on that bike and but now we are continuing in the loser side of things the other half of losers quarterfinals test your luck from Oh, what Canada versus Adventure. Ooh, so, another volatile matchup for sure. You can see those two facing it off. And as we've said before, and I will continue to remind everyone, we have a winner's finals Florida affair. Ooh, MFCR ooh. and Marbello still waiting to bash things out. But for now, we still got to figure out who is going to be locked into this top four TYL and Adventure.
Oh, dude, this is a. Uh, I feel like this matchup can get really, really messy just because yeah. of uh, uh, Nagoriuki. If he gets caught with high blood, if he gets high blood and two minions are out at the same time, <laughs> if you ever check those two boxes at the same time, I feel like the round automatically ends. 100%. <laughs> Like, that is a, such a tough situation for Nagoro Yugi to get out of, bro. He's just a big body. He's always immediately dealing with the hurt boxes. And the minions just doing such a great job with the way Adventure structures his offense yeah. of never letting you play again. So, yeah, test your luck. He's going to have to be real good at, like, being able to get an early hit and then snowball that into the entire round, right? And because, yeah. like, one of uh, Nagoro Yuki's primary ways, and well, one of the primary ways to deal with the minions for any characters is, like, hitting it and then canceling it into, like, a special that can close the distance, yes. right? The thing with Nagoro Yuki is if he does that, it's going to cost him blood, whether yes. it be with the Fukio, the Beyblade, etc. So the blood management is going to be something to keep a real eye on here with the way he deals with the minion pressure. He does also have some uh, a unique set of skills compared to some other characters <laughs> when it comes to clearing out minions as well, 5H as well as 2H, hitting yeah. the whole damn screen. Yeah, exactly. So in, in certain situations, uh, he can uh, take a, take some time, be a little more committal in that swing, yeah. but get rid of everything all at once. That's a great point. And, and that's the thing with Adventure too. if you're Jackal, uh, most of the characters in this game, they don't have the range that Nagori UP does, right? So you're comfortable with getting your minions set up at yep. certain spaces that you cannot do that against Nago. Yeah, full stretch Ooh, screen, you what? can freely stand with a minion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Ooh, yeah, as soon as he gives him that distance, that's why he got the minion out with the main way so quick and closing that up. But that's what we talked about. The blood is already popped, baby. The max is up. Man, oh, ball, the ball, ball, ball. Why are you letting him do this to you like that? Please don't get hit. Oh, okay. Mask back on. DP, aggressive. TYL, I love this. Smothering. Right now, bro. He's not trying to let him breathe. This is ruthless aggression. 2003 WWE. He's going to pop again as soon as his combo is. Let's him do it. Adventure. Sees two pops in one round. That equals a dub for me. A ruthless aggression reference was not on my bingo card for this morning. You know Thanks what I'm that. saying? I got you, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it. I got you. The wrestling themed event, we got to we gotta keep bringing the heat. Oh, okay. Who kills forward? JD, anti your Beyblade. Oh, they bro, the anti air He played the reward off as well. Looks like a slight mistimed on the QB, or I'm not sure what that was supposed to be. Look at, the, look at the damage and response from Adventure, though. And that's with little, that's minimal blood. Yeah, exactly. That was just raw Adventure going to the gym. Okay. Trouble at 99. The Beyblade backs it off. Positive bonus is ticking up. So is the blood. Oh, we have RC in. Just to keep that pressure up. Actually caught him flinching on the second low that time with the DK2D string. YRC right back at you. I'm trying to keep this turn going. Oh, back row incident. Oh, no. And especially against Jacko. It could happen to you. Oh, my God. In the corner, I wish I could key in this feeling. Oh, the tap dust. A classic round in there for Guilty Gift Stride. One of the best in the business. He has the sickest dust, too. He does. Oh, okay. Who goes backwards? Clone actually eats the fireball, and he smooth movements underneath. Oh, my God. Oh, the bad fuck, yo. I don't want none of that burst. I'm good on that, fam. 6 H cut your soul in two. Oh, yeah, the fuck, yo, that we talked about it. That 2D is outside for activity for days. Wow. A rising normal. Wakes up with the super. What are you doing? Man, you see it, the skulls. That's another soul added to the blade. Adventure down 1-0 to test your luck. Oh, and TYL, explosive, explosive, explosive. Round starts, takes advantage. Pop blood twice in one round. The man doesn't care. Nope. He's like, hey, bro, I know how this matchup is played. I'm going to burst sometimes. That means it's all good. Oh, okay. The blocks. Oh, and that was a crazy throw tech attempt. Yeah. That was great stuff of adventure to avoid that and then use the attack on the minion on the other side to get the punish going. No, that's that two ways. They clear the minion, but a big commitment type move, right? So adventure puts himself in a position to follow it up. That was very good. But now, test your luck again, swiping through everything. That back gas gets chased down by the two BRC. Okay. Minion comes out. Oh, yeah, but that two H again, he tried to snipe him. Oh, the minion had his back. Wow, and just getting ball. The flags come out, and here we go. The rest of your life bar is going to get deleted. Yeah. And you see, he repositions to stay away from the YRC. YRC only breaks minions if it interacts with Jacko. Exactly, baby. you got to hit the point character with that YRC, or the puppets aren't going nowhere. Same thing with Zato. Okay, minions. Uh, both. Okay, or penises? <laughs> mm -hmm, the minions. You get jumped in right now, fam. Oh. Blood. 
It was oh, teetering. Oh, Adventure just keeping a quick eye on that. And RC, because he was keeping a quicker eye on the burst gauge for Test Your Luck. Beautiful stuff to bounce back from that first L. My man, Adventure. They yeah, wiped the mouth clean, bro. He is right here. He is thirsty for some blood. Oh, no. But unfortunately, he's the one getting the blood drunk. That is not a good look here. Already to the wall. Yeah, man, he's putting the minions on top of him. This is what we talked about. Yeah, great job using the 5K right there. Again, closing the gap that Tessie Luck is looking to expose. Oh, okay. We're going to go straight to the Elysium Driver. Let's get it. Mm, all the way to the ground. Guaranteed. With authority here in the arena. It's a guaranteed minion set up here. Back dashes with the RC, the slowdown. Buys him a lot of real estate. Yeah, it's a little scary. I thought he was still gonna be punished because of the slowdown. The back dash for recover just in time. Oh my god, the active frames on that 5H were ridiculous. The, the second minion dropped into the hitbox and got deleted, but the other two will get the job done. Wow, but another round off the board. Adventure to the round start. He's gonna go off the ball with it. Already has a minion out, gets the second one applied. We on top of him right now. He tapped us. We got a PRC follow up as well. Not even gonna pop him up with the RC. I like that a lot. Good back dash. Tries to go for the shield though. He's expecting a jumping button. Yeah, but the, the great thing was about that that he was still ready for the fact that Tessie Luck did it right. He had a button afterwards. PRC saw that he didn't actually put a hitbox on him, so a response from Tessie Luck in the same way. These players at high level. Double six H, good amount of damage. As bad as good it gets here. But two S, slowing things down. And you see, that has been the standard approach here. Adventure finally starting to adapt to it a little bit. The close slash from the wire sees back and forth. Oh my god, and see, I test your luck. He was so high blood that even though he saw Adventure having a minion, he couldn't bait play right there. Because if it doesn't hit, then he's gonna pop. Oh no. The zone begins, like you said. The blood gauge, when you get to that kind of blood and she gets to fully stretched screen, yeah. how in the world do you get to her? Yeah, exactly. That's just one of those things, right, where Nagori Yuki is really, really hindered in that situation. You just got to get there. That's why we really highlighted the importance of these early parts of the round yeah. for Test Your Luck. Like, he has to snowball nice and quick. Look at this. That's just, he's wondering if he's trying to go to another character. That's how volatile it can be. I don't expect to see a swap, though. I mean, this okay. is what got TYL as far as he is. Mm -hmm. You gotta and listen, man. If your name is Test Your Luck, you gotta you gotta stick to your guns, man. That's a good point. It's time to live up to it. Yeah, exactly, bro. You know, you know what's part of the game here. I want to see an aggressive round start. If we're gonna go high blood, we need to make it count. Round yeah. start DP. Round start Fukio Ford. Round start Beyblade. Do yeah. something. Make him. Uh, make him pay if he tries to fight you. Yeah. You are so good at 99. We see a couple of, like bad Fukios like that, right? That's what he's been doing at the round start, and it gives Adventure that room to start setting up the minions. I'm not really a big fan of that. But either way, let's see if Tessie Luck can start turning it around here. Still oh. decently low on the blood, but that 6P. Adventure's been very on point with that. We saw it up against Lord Knight as well. Okay. Can do. Minion. Oh, oh, the shield actually pushes him back here. And the oh. burst. Oh, no. Believe it's the player from Canada burst in the Great White North, but there's the throw. That was a north of the wall burst, 100%. Oh, great block on the back at BRC overhead, though. Oh, still locked down, though. We got red cards on the play. Somebody's getting ejected. Oh, uh, that might be the And Beyblade, side switch. A huge opportunity. All of a sudden, the round is on its head. Did. Oh, he tried to sneak in and bypass the guard, but Adventure take it to the skies, able to thwart the command throw as well. Yeah, Blood Sucking Universe not quite going to be able to get there. Threatening the set now. Adventure trying to punch a ticket into top four. Test your luck, still in this though. Yeah, he didn't get the whip punish on 5H. Definitely looking for him with the Beyblade. Through the minion and into Jackal as well. Oh, trying to drain some of that meter. He wanted the Blood Sucking Universe with a back dash. Adventure is so good and so aware. Oh, okay. Wow, nice back dash. 5K breaks the minion as well. This is closed a little bit, but oh my god, not again the five times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rona Spinneroonie in the building. She can break dance fight too. Don't get it twisted. Oh, still okay. A little bit of chip. 2K, 2D. I love that. TYL though, full screen, full blood. It might be over. Oh, he got the minions down. But still, it's a little scary because he forward Fukio and he first in her face. First out again, speaking of which, but it's not going to be enough. Adventure able to catch him as he lands, points to the camera, and stays alive. 
big upset. Adventure Man, always a very scrambly, scary game, but Cuba gets yeah, Nago. I don't know what they yeah. were talking Jeez. about. But that's how I feel a thousand percent of the time against Nagori Yuki. So that's I guess. That's all I was going to say. But uh, I'd love to see him so animated, so excited, so ready to play. Adventure continues forward. Top four still out here. But again, give it up for Test Your Luck. Yeah. Obviously, amazing placement here into the top eight. You love to see it. Hell yeah. Doing your country well, man. Good to see you. And I like that jacket. That's a fire jacket. That's a fire jacket for sure. All right, we getting out the proper way. So yeah, man, that was a great loser's quarterfinals match. So that means the loser's quarterfinals in the books, right? What's it gonna be? It's gonna be Super Noon versus Adventure. That's gonna be a great one, 100%. Yes. But it is time for that winner's finals, baby. It is time for the Florida boys to take the stage yet again. T and S M F C R going up against Flint Arcade's own Barbello. It's gonna be a barn burner. Two of the most explosive players in the scene. Yeah, Central Florida versus South Florida here in the end. All family, and I know that I can speak for everybody when it comes to the Florida scene. As long as we're able to bring the belt home, we'll be okay. Exactly, but these bro. two, I think you you kind of hit the nail on the head. They are positioned the best to be able to get into this and actually take the win. So yeah. MFCR and Marvello, like we said, in the winners, Adventure and Noon sitting down in the losers here. Adventure has been fighting through the losers, so he's played a little more True. matches than everyone else. We'll have to see if the uh, the decision fatigue potentially uh, comes into play as we get into the loser side. Yeah, especially because they were a free set seat, right? It went right. down to the wire with Lord Nine. I think that was the final round. Test your luck. Obviously, put a double on the board himself as well. So he's got a lot of games under his belt. We'll see how the mental endurance holds up. While on the other hand, we got the exact opposite story for our winners finals, right? Oh, MFCR 3-0, <laughs> Marvello 3-0. Get an X6-0 in winners for Florida boys. And now one of them's gonna have to put the other into the losers to try to take care of business to make sure that the belt comes home. Absolutely. As long as it stays in the Sunshine State, we'll be happy. But I know these two got enough regional pride for their own cities to die. Want to want to bring it back to their own place. That's the great thing, right? If you're new to fighting games, there's levels to the regionality yes. rivalries. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're playing for somebody outside your state, then is it whoever's riding for your state against their state, right? Done. If it's another country, it's whoever's riding for your country Done. against the other country. But when we got interstate warfare like that, that's when you see Central Florida versus South Florida, SoCal versus NorCal, the boroughs versus Long Island. We got this all day, every day. And that's one of the cool things about Florida specifically is because our scenes are so separate because for anybody that does not know in Florida you can drive seven hours and still be in Florida Bruh, so I, I we have a very different ecosystem of tournaments in uh, our state 100 I was in Miami on Wednesday I drove five hours to drive here <laughs> to bro. Florida so, but yeah I was already in Florida and it took me five hours to get to Daytona oh man but here we go no love lost between the two very excited to get to see them these two play online all the time they play offline pretty consistently when it comes to Florida regionals and different tournaments in between. And now they're going to get the dude, brawl it out, brawl. winners, finals. I couldn't have drawn that a better up myself, dude. I'm living right now. Yeah, I know. I'm living yeah, right I now, I know bro. you're happy. I know the Florida home contingent is very happy. Again, let's hear it for winners, finals, y'all. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The two Florida boys in the building, MFCR, Marbello. Again, and we talked about two high octane characters. Let's hit each other in the face. Oh, Ryan Star 5K. I like that check. It's a knockdown though. Oh, and normally you see the flash kick there, but Beta Blade on the first knockdown. These two swinging. <laughs> this is crazy. That's right, baby. That's right. Put him on there. Oh, yeah. And as soon as you give him a space to do something, MMCR, he's going to put it out there. The dash up button, the 2D, the flash kick. He's so good defensively cycling through his options. And oh. there's the flash kick. Marvello got almost like infinite value off the 6K oh. in the other set, but now 6 him right in the eye. My man stabbed him through the cobblestone right there. Good lord. Oh, Alpha Blade, not enough to kill. Good damage, though. Like we said, positive bonus, potential win condition if you can get him into blocks done here. You see, he's cycling oh. through guard point stance, though, because he knows that dash up 5k is coming. Oh my god, yeah, MFCR did such a good job. He went to the attack point early as well. Marvello had the meter available to YRC out. He's got another tension bar here. Is he going to use it? He's trying to weather the storm right now. The trade, it was almost a combo for MFCR. Put the hitbox on that, catching him, reaching into the sky and punishing him for it. Marvello with the first one. Wow, hit him with the barrage. He said, believe it. <laughs> Push him through. <laughs> like to see it. Round two. That was one round. I'm exhausted. For real. Oh my both God. Of these players, man. This is so sick already. And the 5 the anti air conversion from MFCR. Missed out on the dribble. Confirmed. Oh, oh my God. The counter hit yeah. into the corner. Doesn't run the meter. Oh, it's going to save it for a BRC potentially. That was a real nobody's got my back like I got my back moment. 
Again, flash kick. RC. Oh, man, we about to tie this up that quick, bro. Let me get that wall splat. Not even. I'm keeping this corner. He beat out my fellow fighting, even with no health visible at this point. Yeah, the jump D. Yeah, and went for the 6p2. Knew he was going to come down with something there, but was a little too delayed because of the slowdown. Odd situation. And in the end, MFDR gets the better of it around a piece. Oh, the delay on the regular attempt there, but yeah, the delays. It's gas. so dangerous to do that up against MFCR because of my flash kick reversal, bro. Against MFCR, against Leo, do not leave gas. Yeah, it's one of those things. They are going to expose this. It's an easy input to get it out. And again, that wasn't safe jump timing either, so more exposure. So, into the corner. Ooh, oh, oh my god, the quick RC afterwards. Marvello got the instant block off as well, but he just couldn't take his turn because of that. Oh, okay, nice block. Just blocks the Rekka, takes his turn back. That was a ballsy Ooh. jump. Marvello was ready with the 6P. Don't test him. Oh. And MFCR with the throw attempt right there. Marvello, it looked like he was at the beginning of a dash, and we talked about the dash blocks from Marvello, right? I think he was kind of going into that sequence, maybe not expecting to already be in throw range after that, but MFCR, he knew. Oh, okay. Marvello went for the wall run afterwards there. Nice little mix up. The double hit. Wow, the back dash right there. Maybe that was an anti flash kick setup. Maybe the invisibility of the back dash can bypass it. But either way, MFCR not letting anything pass him. Oh, swings right at 99. Tries to go for the missile drop kick. BRC away. Fortunately, the slow, even with the slowdown, he's not quite able to escape the clutches of Leo. Oh, you can see the respect after the 2D yes. is shown right there, bro. You just want to get flash kicked. I forgot the minus frames on that move now, but it's, it's still a bit scary to challenge out there. Oh, RC, we're gonna get our games going now. He went with a low, convert the other meter for a super. Let me get that positive vibes only. Oh my god, cross up. Tap the FD just to make sure he goes a little bit far. And there we go, is able to take the finish round down. And historically, these two go pretty even, so this is okay. this is what we're expecting. I'm expecting this back and forth. Oh, he was like, but I instant blocked the 6K. What do you mean they're not in throw range? <laughs> oh that was a heartbreaker. Oh. My yeah, he's putting the swords on him right there. You can see the guard bar definitely getting cranked up on the little side. Oh, but he is running him up now. Come on, go ahead and flash kick, baby. Wow, a little season one action there. For real. <laughs> Throw overhead oh, attempt. That was a wild attempt at the Abare, a successful one at that. And then the back dash punishing the throw for MFCR. Oh no, the jump D just drilling him, but he drops the combo. Another chance for Marvello. Yeah, missed out on the dribbles. And it looked like he was going to be too far for yeah. the cross up, but just barely sneaks in there. Wow, man, great stuff from MSCR out here. Just like, bulldogging him consistently. Marvello, maybe looking for this dash bar S. I should try to use that range from Chip, perhaps. Oh, 2D, oh, great okay. start. Like He's about as good as it gets. Has to forward the burst. Oh. He gets it again! Nice, and it stabbed out for the punish after. You know, I, it makes sense Marvello was actually looking for the dash 2D right yeah. there because as you mentioned, the guard point stance, right? Yes. MFCR had been going for that a lot at that range, and the guard point stance is susceptible. To the low that is. Oh, okay. Reckless. Here we go. Continuing with the positive bonus. YRC. It's the only way to get out. Indeed, a BRC. My man's just locked down right now. Put him on the red on the guard crane. He doesn't want to give him that damage. The 2D chase down. Even with the burst, you're still in the lion's set, baby. Oh, okay. Nice block. Oh, cross up. Goes oh, for the oh, double. Yeah. Backs away. I love that BRC. Finds a hit too. Yeah, always a real awkward interaction off of Insta blocking the Berserker Slash. That's what you're supposed to do, but the only punish you can get is a throw. And right out, MCR, just a dash up 5B, catching him, flinching at the wrongest moment to take Nada to a lead just yet. Oh, no. has got a chance. We got a burst out trying to keep this corner. He's empty in for his life, but it doesn't allow him to live. Marvello is not checking run throughs. He's and not? Dude. MFCR is getting away with murder in some yes. of these run-through situations. You have to. That's one of the first things you have to establish against this guy. If you're going to let him get these cross-ups, he's going to continue. He's going to take everything you give him. Yeah, 100% right there, right? It really feels like one of those things, as you mentioned, both of these players being from a similar region, kind of going even. I'm sure that Marvello has so much in his head about what MC MFCR usually does in every given situation that sometimes things just slip through the cracks. And what's slipping through the cracks right now are those Berserker Slashes. And it doesn't help that the Florida regional play styles that were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't help between the two. That's kind of our, uh, our our tipping point, we'll say. 100%. He was like, it's already tough getting a read on this man. And now the Berserker Slash is coming out. In a, yeah, in, 
instances where you think at this level that they wouldn't be as successful as they're working at right now. But again, that's just the wear down of the mental stack. How much you have to worry about going up against Leo, especially MFCR's Leo, who, I mean, as you mentioned, very unpredictable. One. Oh, okay. Oh, my man trying to get into him to start this off. Shake my hand. No, thank you. Check the legs. Into the Rekkas. I like that backdash too. Okay, starting to rep that. What? That's so brave. That is not a place where it is your turn, but yeah. MFCR says frame date as a social construct. I'm in there. Yeah, exactly. I'm not listening to that. I think I'm going to abide by these rules. They're more like guidelines. He got the burst out, so he's good. Yeah. Nerve-wracking stuff but does end up getting the value. Playing these grounded footsies here. Normally I would say don't test the god with Marvello when it comes to these footsies here, but MFCR is matching him, which is crazy. He is, and what a read from Marvello that time though. Chasing the back dash down, getting the throw on the other side here. Just has his own, oh, yeah, just goes, cuts him off at the pass. This time tries to throw, oh panicking, my goodness, panicking. the quick RC after Marvel, that, yeah. Marvello needs to slow down. Yeah, the quick RC after that I think was a little bit unnecessary, yeah. right? He just immediately went into the jab. I think he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. And now MFCR here on set point to get in the grand final. Oh, Two oh, the counter at the start. That is a huge reward for the Leo. Leads off of the missile drop kick, keeps him in the corner here, and is able to get the anterior standing B. There's no way he gets the anterior like that. Bro, I'll tell you, it might as well be a six feet at back turn button. Knockdown, clone, plus frame, throw, oh, attempt. Region. And again, this is another instance where we saw he actually gets the gold first out. It wasn't even a regular burst, but it's not going to matter. It seems like MFCR catches him again. Couple of headbutts puts him in grand finals. MFCR, you see him hop straight up. And he's feeling it. We like to see it. A man looks like he's stalking his prey right now, bro. <laughs> for real, that is 6-0 for MFCR and winners right now, bro. Two, three O's, one in winners semis, one in winners finals. Can this man be stopped? We'll have to see. We're getting into my favorite portion of the bracket now. It's time for winner stays. We're going to go into hey. losers semis. And now somebody's going to have a chance to roll up that snowball and get some momentum. As you said, MFCR, zero games dropped in the arena. He can't be stopped right now. That's the electricity is in the air. You can see we talked about it, the power of friendship. We saw the entrance. All the boys at his it back. Hard. The Florida home field advantage. He is really feeling it right now. You see the lightning come out of his eyes, bro. He is looking untouchable. We shall see if anybody can reach that level. Of course, the first match we got to go with to see, to get to that point is that loser semis. As you mentioned, winner stays from here on out. It's going to be adventure yes. versus Super Noon. Absolutely. But again, huge shout out to everybody who is watching with us and everybody here in the crowd. Uh, we appreciate you being here for Guilty Gear Strive. <laughs> MFCR still sitting in the winner's side. Loser semis, like you said, Ed and Super Noon. Marvello waiting to fight. Dude, and these are all players that are, this is going to be, this is going to be crazy. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Yeah, for I'm the, already starting to lose my voice. <laughs> four of the finest players in North America, just think of Jake Ryan and you'll be all right. That's you know true. Yeah, you know, at least my got, motivation. Yeah, at least we got the cough drops over here. <laughs> Oh, but Adventure at Noon, definitely going to be a good one here. It's going to be Bridget versus the Jackal. And again, I haven't seen this matchup played out too much, to be honest with you, but I imagine Bridget has some decent tools in it because yes. of her range, right? So again, we talked about Jackal. She needs that space to kind of get the minion start going. And Bridget has a great ways yes. to kind of thwart that space, whether it be with her long range normals, the roll in, so many things. Absolutely. That yo -yo, the yo-yo and the yo-yo placement is going to decide a ton. Also, you can set yourself up in curtain situations for setting up the yo-yo to potentially just break minions. And historically, throughout a, a Guilty Gear in general, not even just Strive, Jacku has struggled with being able to establish minions. It's very different in other games. But she's yeah. always kind of struggled with establishing minions with, uh, against characters with very disjointed hitboxes. Bridget yes. is exactly checks all the boxes when it comes to safely breaking minions without feeling overcommittal. Yeah, 100%, man. So... All it takes is a few hits for Noon to get the knockdown. And we've seen how potent his offense is as well, right? He's got all the options on deck, the delayed jump D to catch people's throw timings, catching them trying to block low instead. He's got the empty lows. We've seen that. He's got the Roger setups with the command grab. He likes to establish that early. Yes. Lots and lots of things to look out for if you're on the side of Adventure. But Adventure, he just needs to get a couple minions out. You can jump into the fan, baby. 
Oh, okay. Immediately able to get the counter hit. Back up between the two. Noon sets up the yo-yo, closes the distance, and already has Adventure cornered. But uh, we're going to see a lot of changing space. We're going to be a lot of changing faces here. Oh, 100%. Yeah, that, that's a, a great point. This matchup can be played, honestly, at such different tempos. Right now, you can wow, that's 6P from long distance, and then 6P in the minion right back. I like it. Nice RC to cover and recognize that Noon was in the start of the role. Lock him down, catch him flinching. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Oh, the soccer kick is brutal. The is. shin kick yeah. is brutal. Violence. Oh my god. Burst is available though. It's aggressive. I think she got, oh, yeah, I like this. I think she got led in those belt bottoms, bro. 100%. Titanium line. But nice. I love that too. The jump D. Gonna be a pretty decent tool in this matchup just to harass the bridge and not let her freely move around the screen. Oh, and look at that. Uses the minions just as a tool to be able to close the distance there. Does get a little more aggressive, but is content to go back to full screen. Not really worried about the danger of the negative penalty as well. Uh, he says, I'll just fill up my meter myself. Yeah, I'm good with that. Maybe golden burst right here. Also powered up the minions as well. Yeah, so they can take a hit or two. That's why Noon, you can see he wasn't even trying to press against them. That's how the 2D, you think it's done being active, but it's always outside. It runs the corners here. Adventure Elysium Driver with the wall break damage, still not enough. Okay, Shatter didn't do it. Noon has meter. He's gonna back straight off though. He's gonna try and play the long range game a little bit, but unfortunately now stuck with all three minions. The mortar Help. strike coming through with minion three. Help. The minions just sitting on top of him, managed to escape that and actually catches the 2S. Gets the landing frame punish on Adventure, but no. <laughs> Dude, the, I'll never get sick of the AC-130 minion when he shoots it straight up, bro. I love it so much. <laughs> I just think, we, I think of the minion's perspective, bro. Just see it coming crashing down on the opponent. Oh, dude. What happened? Why is he making this face? He's looking at the camera. The noon switch to the ramp. Oh! The Valentine. Okay. My man is looking to get lethal with it. She's also got a lot of long range to yes. deal with these minions, right? She's got great acceleration speed on the ground. The windshield wiper as well to clear the entire screen when you have RC behind it to continue Dude, your turn. This is so unexpected. Noon has been uh, like just absolutely yeah. cooking with Bridget all, all stages He put here. a ring on Bridget, bro. He, he, I haven't absolutely. seen him play Ram in a minute. Oh my God. No more window shopping. He said, yeah, let me, uh, <laughs> it's time to go. Go back to the old me. Rekka connects. Super available. Not going to spend it. Wants to save it. The new star BRC. Yeah, he loves that BRC on a stage change. He's not going to spend the super, and then that's probably what's following it up. Oh, yeah. That's another great tool, man. Even in the air, she has such a huge wow. range of clearing the screen, and you can see why that switch was imminent. And, I, and that's the crazy thing, is I know that Noon has been practicing Bridget. Like you said, put a ring on it, and this oh. is just... This is just muscle memory for him. And yes. that is incredible to see on a switch like that. Yeah, exactly right. For him to already look so comfortable and clean on the character with having not played her in tournament, like, at, the, at like a, his peak, right? He's definitely played this character way more in the past. Oh, nice block. Still okay. Minion attack. He takes the throw too. Didn't even have any meter. Was so confident. Ooh, not even sticking his hand in the blender that time. Oh, I thought he maneuvered around it so well, but the six Bs from Adventure have been really on point. RC, nothing. It's been a Rooney. Also nothing. Throws the sword. Unfortunately, going to miss out on that one for a while. It's going to take a long time for it to be returned. And even further, it continues to get pushed closer to the wall. Adventure, relentless. Indeed here. And Noon has no mirror to bust out anyway. No burst, no YRC. It's a tough situation for him to be in. He's trying to swipe, but the spacing is so perfect from Adventure's side. One more guess. Oh, tried to slowly walk up and catch the flinch, but Noon's got a real chance. Oh, oh no. Slow. Maybe guessing on a backdash. Tried to read it, and he got a button out too late right there. Adventure waking up with a button successfully. Pressure. All the way to the wall already. Tap Dusty blocks it. And he gets the burst here, clears the minions. Lovely flying out real quick. Oh, man. He uses the sword to delete the minion, but leaving him a little handicapped because of that. Amazing defense. Still okay. Gets another short back. That just block is able to get the counter hit. Here we go. Opportunity. And he delays. Maybe missed the dash. Something happened. Doesn't go aggressive. And Noon, he needs to get back in there, right? Get out of boards and let Jackal set up these minions here. And yeah, the super jump highlights that. Catching the minions from the back, he couldn't delete it in time. Elysium Driver, ooh, puts her on a pixel. And the OTG for the kill, 2-0 for Adventure to start this set.
such a strong way to get into it. I will say, though, I actually like this swap. I really do. I think yeah, that that like first round was it. good. Adventure did uh, get the better of it in the second situation here. What a back dash here. Just, just barely able to avoid everything. Yeah, even with the back dash, it's not easy to get out of that 2D range. Let me tell you what. So great stuff from Noon. Rekka's. Not keeping them locked down here. Wants to keep both swords on them. Some back dashes, but yeah, it's just getting him locked in a corner now. Ooh, interesting. He's going for like a crouch jab in here. It's time to wonder what that was about. JP's locked down. That was a crazy block. Adventure's yeah. defense. He's just unreal. He's been blocking for 30 seconds, bro. For real, son. Actually, the, genuinely 30 seconds. The guard bars continues to be cranked. We're going to need the exclamation point in a minute. Oh, instead he gets hit. And you can see just melting because of how much guard bar was cranked. That clip is the definition of you just can't block forever. No, no. The defense will not always win you there. Yeah. And historically, the best offense beats the best defense. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's just a matter of time. Oh, nice punish. Well, wow, both of these two unbelievably impressive defense. Yeah, I'm really impressed with both of them. Super New and Adventure, they've been grinding in this game since the beginning, right? Staples of top eights and whatever they enter. Morta Basco bust out. It was only a matter of time as well. Okay. JD, not gonna work. It's a hit. Doesn't have the meter. Not quite. Okay, now, next hit, Elysium Driver. Yeah, that's definitely something that's gonna be moving. Elysium Driver in the cut. That is a scary sight. Nice oh. shot from Super New. Oh my goodness, the scrambles right there. Being aware of the burst to take it away from Adventure and take a W for himself, well done. Yeah, that was so strange because it's like instant blocked away the air normals, which means you're not in extended blocks, but it was definitely a wild situation in that corner right there. So big ups to both players. Yeah, a mess for sure. But in those scrambly situations here, if there's no minions out, you gotta favor uh, you gotta favor Noon. Also, mm -hmm. Noon just has the experience in scrambles. He's a, he's a guy who we always talk about people's experiences in other games. He played a couple games where uh, he's pretty decent at scrambling. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's a versus fighting veteran. So when it comes to the chaos of neutral, that's where he's born at. That's where he was molded at. Oh, what a block though. Good parry with the minions there. Minion two, a little bit of wave on the way out, but not gonna get too much for it. 50 meter available. For adventure but again not worried about the danger not worried about the negative penalty just worried about playing this neutral and new one, he's doing a lot of avoiding of the minions right now the snipe that one and actually gets in from adventure for now we'll see though adventure bro just immediately take it to the skies like that and we keep it locked down in this corner able to switch it up and that's such an advantage as soon as he puts you there but look at this super new and he's getting mauled in the corner right now you wanted to talk about the clip from before about you can't block forever and venture given one of his own but he does end up clubbing it up at the end oh, oh, attempt. Still down. Down, bro. oh no all three of them the sandwich situation tap dust adventure threatening the set again we talk about one of the best round closes in stride. Wow, the 6P double up. A very popular tool up against Ranthothal in the neutral. You know how it goes. Uh oh. Oh, is going to break the wall there. Windshield wipers. Extra damage. Positive bonus now. Is going to have 50 ball right away. Oh, the card. Yeah, and that's another thing. Oh, Adventure has been so good at baiting out. Goes with the raw Elysium driver punish. Big damage. Oh. We see a perfect minion setup, as you mentioned before. Does get the throw afterwards, though. New gonna nullify that completely. Yeah, Ed willing to take that one down. Don't want to be a hero. Losing the round, but still threatening the set. Noon fighting to keep his head above water right now. He's doing a great job, and that was a huge momentum burst. You have to get something off of this. That was so important. Yeah, exactly. Noon, and he got cardboard on the other side. Guarded by the minion, I should say, so immediately repelled backwards. Willing to spin the sword to and even get rid of the minion because again the guard came out. Oh, oh that was JK on a weird hitbox. Doesn't click anything for it. And I don't know if that combo didn't work because he didn't have the sword. That's what it looked like. Rough stuff here. He's in the corner. He's got no meter to defend himself in the tap the star. See, Adventure putting a lot of damage on him and the charge does breaks the wall and he breaks into the loser's finals. Good stuff. <laughs> Dude's face on that, he's like, bro, you better tap me up. <laughs> <laughs> that was good stuff from Adventure, 100%, man. He's been so excited since entering the arena. You can see exactly why, bringing his skills here. Guaranteed top three finish now.
one match away from grand finals. Absolutely, and you see that's definitely one of the things that happens, and one of the things I encourage for a lot of players that you see from Adventure. It's very excited, a lot of energy really amped up. First thing he does, tap him up, stand up, get some of that out, move around. Yeah, yeah. Do, don't stay nervous, don't stay in the seat for too long. You don't want to make it stay overly hot. You want to keep yourself paced. If Adventure is to be the one to take the belt, it's a very, very long road ahead. Yeah pace yourself. Yeah, one of the things you identified before, right, is that he started this top eight in loser's bracket. He's played more played matches than anybody, especially the next two that he's going to be coming up against because they were winner's side the whole way, except for, of course, Marvello dropping in that winner's final. So, Adventure nice and warmed up now. Marvello, obviously, we have to see how he responds to the winner's finals, right? Yes. MFCR with that 3-0 definitely sent a message. So, I want to see. And, of course, like you said from the beginning, the most important thing here is that Florida takes home the belt. And this is the way to guarantee it right here if Marvello <laughs> can defeat him in losers finals. But yeah, man, we're taking a little bit of a breather for a second. We want to give Adventure that time to catch his breath. You know what I mean? He's been playing a whole lot and he is in the winner's side of things. So do not go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Strive. <laughs> Welcome back to CEO. Nothing suspicious here. Nothing. <laughs> And I didn't just make it back in my seat at the last <laughs> second at all. Oh, dude. To everybody watching at home, to everybody here in the arena, Guilty Gear Strive has made it to Losers Finals. We have one more match, one more. I'm going to say it. We have one more invader trying to stop Ooh. a Florida belt. That's what I want to hear, baby. We do adventure the last lone man alive. Not repping Florida. He's got to go through Marvel to get a chance at MFCR in that grand finale. And we have to highlight once again MFCR. Even though we have that other match coming up, MSCR zero games dropped on Sunday is Whoa. looking unstoppable. As you can see, all the way through, was able to walk through noon, walk through Marvello, and now is going to try and go through the final sprint. But Marvello and Adventure. I feel like both players that are uh, could potentially give MFCR some trouble if they can make the correct adaptations going into their matchups here. But we'll see. They're going to have to brawl it out themselves first. Chip versus Jacko, obviously very volatile, but... We always point out about Marvello, amazing in footsies and so good at dash blocking. So is able to earn a lot of real estate and a lot of respect in a lot of situations. Adventure, yeah. using that 2D is going to be important to try and fight back. Yeah, it's funny because we just saw Adventure go up against the Nago and the Bridget and the Ram, all with those long range options, right? Chip, I mean, he's got the far S, which is really good. Yeah. But his long range comes from the speed of the character, right? Absolutely. As you mentioned, the alpha blades, all those things, the dash speed on him, the dash into the normals, those are going to be the things that really help him in this matchup. I want to see if he's able to kind of turn what Adventure has been playing gets on his head Ooh. and then just suffocate him in close quarters. Okay. Back way, put a little bit of pressure on. He's able to counter. And there's the DP again on the first knockdown. You love to see him do it early. Yeah, already. Oh, and Adventure, you know, he recognizes how out of control this match can get when Chip's on offense, right? We see the early burst out, and he's been taking a full advantage of it. Already got Marvello down to the guts range, and he's going to burst down, and it's not going to be any type of hero business here. We villain society, Adventure, first blood. Definitely brave of you to mention guts in the conversation with Chip. I know, right? <laughs> not, not, boy, not that it matters with him. Your boy ain't got it like that, but still. But away, try to get aggressive, nice poke. Wants to mix up off of it, holding the FT, but not able to push her too far away. But in the end, is able to get the back dash, but still not able to get any pressure of his own. Adventure maintains control. Him all gets clipped on the guard. Made some damage for it, but my fellow, you can see staying persistent. Oh, the blade out. Elysium Driver, oh yeah! Nice. I was gonna say, does she like snatch the clone? Does he eat extra damage for that? But it doesn't look like it was raw and the legs. Let me hit these red bottoms for you real quick. Wow, and that is a first game in the books. A brawl back and forth. Looks like we're gonna go to character select. Like a little bit of a slowdown here. I definitely like this. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Looks like he's looking to change the theme of it. Oh, he even asked his, like, you agree with this song? I respect that from Marvello right there. Taking into consideration his uh, opponent's taste. But yeah, as you mentioned, I think uh, with how uh, high speed this game is in general, it's just a good idea to take a breather here after the first yeah. game, recompose yourself a little bit, think about the matchup. Because again, this is losers finals, right? At Marvello, he is trying to gatekeep all non-Floridian residents. Oh, 2D, a little too far. Jacko able to get hers in response. Only one minion established, able to get the second one through. And now with his attack commands, again, the DP works out on the first attempt. And the first out, my man's just living. Oh, yeah, the guards have been so on point with Adventure as well. Really 
making sure that people don't get to snipe the minions for free. Oh, tap that up, get a little extra momentum, able to find the cross up there, nice extension. He doesn't break the wall, this is even better as the bonsai comes through. Side, big counter hits right there. The adventure 100 meter though. Gotta be a little bit careful, he's gonna spend 50 right now on the BRC, locks him down for a second. The throw is there as well, Marvello, he doesn't have too many more chances here, he's got a burst available, and immediately gets locked out of the Elysium Driver. Adventure brings it back yet again. Wow, it just continues to go through. Marvello dies with burst and a full meter. You hate to see it. But Adventure, getting aggressive again. That's the way, I like that backdash here. Not afraid to give away real estate, knowing that he's confident he's neutral to take it back. Wow, Adventure doing such a good job, moving around with the minions right there. Even up against Chip, taking into consideration how fast that character is in the back throw, that's huge. Oh, okay, gets the throw. Happens again. GG, no, gets the same side, overhead, but again! Yeah, but again, we break dance fighting out here. Oh man, Ben Stiller would be proud. Jacko going up 2 0. This is quick, too. I'm not sure what the changes need to be for Marvello here, but Adventure is looking a little unstoppable right now. Yeah, man, Adventure starting this run in Loser's Top 8. You can see wiping the blood from his mouth right there. He has been decimating opponent after opponent on the road to grand finals. Can Marvello finally put a stop to this freight train? Yep, just, you know, change the color again, slow things down, wants to break up the momentum as best he can. But again, we need to see some major macro changes here. It's not small adjustments, yeah. I don't think. A lot of it is Adventure is beating him to the punch in, like, these big picture scenarios. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, when you just think about, like, the game plans overall, right, it really yeah. feels like Marvello hasn't been able to get anything started. Adventure, I've been so impressed with his mobility yes. with the Jacko. Like, he's been able to get the minions out. He's been able to get the super jumps off really quickly, and he takes such advantage of being able to plant the minion behind you, going into the super jump hype, getting the attack while you're trying to maneuver around and figure out an anti-air for Jacko, or maybe trying to hit the minion, but it's behind you. It's so hard, you can't even see it. Knockdown, same size. A little better here for Marvello. Burst comes through, and unfortunately, it feels like every time the burst comes out, Marvello just is kind of locked out of the round. He never really gets another opportunity. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a good observation. Adventure, and his burst have been so rewarding here. Marvello, he hasn't really been able to scout them either. Adventure likes to spin them very early, but speaking of scouting options, Adventure blocking the wake-up DP, making Marvello pay dearly for that. My god, Chip, barely alive. Okay, and just sets up a minion here, declines to try and go for any kind of mix-up. Sure, can come through, airs the air throw, opportunity. Oh my, that's all the way in his DMs right there. That was personal business. But look at the meter. Oh, Judy, right away. BRC in response. And the ends here again. He just he stubbed his toe on the halo. He did. He really <laughs> did. The spikes on the ends of the joints. I don't think the BRC to slow down radius hit the Jacko. So free to do that 6P. And yeah, that jump 2K was not what it was at launch. Okay. Much safer pressure here, going into the 6K as well, sticking to what works. I like that, but the wake up throw, no incident. Marvello, he's usually so clean and crisp with this type of offense in these setups, but I don't know, maybe the pressure is getting to him right now. He doesn't want to let the hometown down. Adventure here, one heart away from getting into grand finals. Oh, okay. Still pressuring, jumps over, does get a kill on the minion here, but the life bar is dwindling. This could be it. Yeah, he tried to cut off the second minion right there, but he wasn't quick enough. He got counter hit on his own, leaving him at just a little bit of chunk of life. The FDs are there. Try to fake out the dust that doesn't matter. The soccer kick string completes the loser's finals. Big ups to adventure here, staying alive. So the dream of the uh, of the all Florida grand finals dead. True. Adventure true. says, I'm too good for it. Too good oh, for it, for oh, sure. Man. Staking his claim for the belt, setting himself up for success. But unfortunately, you have a, uh, a really tough road ahead. A set behind on MFCR, who is looking like the best player in the room. 100%, man. He has not dropped the game since this top eight has begun. 3-0 winner semifinals. 3-0 in winner's finals. He's got the home field advantage as well, the crowd behind him. But 
the only reason I'm glad that we don't have all photograph files is because we get peak drama. That's now he true. has to defend the house. <laughs> it's only sweating. up to MFCR, exactly. Now the perspiration <laughs> comes in a little bit. As you can see, how our bracket has played out. Adventure starting the top eight in losers, taking it 3-2 and a nail biter over Lord Knight, taking it against Test Your Luck. Super new, Marvello all decimated in his path, all bodies put in bags. MFCR doing the same exact thing in Winterside. And important to note, if you watch the trend of how Adventure's been going, he's slowly getting better. 3-2, 3-1, 3-1, 3-0, he's heating up. Please. I said it once, I'll say it again, when the snowball starts to roll, especially with a character like Jacko, it can be hard to stop. But if there was ever a stop sign that Bruh. could stop that, <laughs> yeah. it's MSCR uh -huh. and that damn flash kick. A hundred percent. Like your path has been stopped by a sleeping Pokemon. Like and that is <laughs> a, that is a flash kick, bro. You oh, cannot no. go past this path. It is time. Grand final CEO 2023. Guilty Gear Strive. Can MFCR defend the home? Or is Adventure gonna take a belt home for himself? Oh, I feel the electricity. No anime intros rocking this time. We getting the business, we getting the bloodshed. He said, don't waste my time, I'm trying to fight. That's facts, baby. Trying to take home this belt. The Flash niggas beat it out early. Adventure already checking the Berserker Slash as well. That's what we identified before, right? Yeah. MFCR have been getting away with that and win his finals. Adventure already represented the button. We'll see if he can throw it later. This time, though, they're dashing up in the 2Ds in the business. Checking, I'm not trying to get no grips here. Got to turn. Oh, on the back turn, a little too far there on the step. The axe kick does not work out. Be able to push the mini, but the 6 feet deletes God. everything. Sail with your chest. Okay. That first jab to Minion, just not even letting him get established here. DP, but unfortunately, the Minions don't really care about that. Exactly, right? They're like, all right, we'll eat the, the DP for our girl. It's all good with me. Jacko holding it down to red bottoms again, stained with blood. Oh, the 2D is active, bro. That is outside all day, every day. Look at that, the Minion runaway. That's one of the things that Leo has in this matchup. He can kill the Minion and then go with like yeah. a forward advancing special. Whether it be like the, the Wrecker starter, which is not really a Wrecker, or the Berserker Slash, either way, wall break. Okay, pass bar. Gonna close that distance a little bit, tries to go for the burst option here, and then afterwards the Missile Drop Kick works out. Oh, that was a sick that combo, was too quick, RC. I wanna get to this ground. Oh, Jasso now on oh, life support. Oh. She's alive, though. That's all that matters. Her being alive is scary enough. Oh. The back throw, not like this. The Pulse is still active. MCR with the wake up dash block, but he gets opened up here. That's going to be good damage. Oh, not worth the risk of flash kick just yet. He does have an RC, though. You have to imagine that's why Adventure stayed out of range where he could RC it. I think maybe he could RC it off the minion hit, but he wasn't looking for it. The gold burst did not be successful, and the back dash gets clipped. Wow, definitely spaghetti back and forth. Adventure looking like he's having a good time. MFCR looking like he's fighting for his damn life. For real, man. Adventure all smiles, all rainbows. Oh my god. Oh my god, that 2D is outside, bro. Just barely missed that time. Same time. Berserker Sash, what spacing there gets the whip punish. Oh, the back dash BRC overhead, lighting up the crowd as well. They oohing and on at that one. Back fits to the dome piece, MFCR here. Just a little bit of health away from taking the first game. Oh, cross up. No, DP is baited way too far. Look at the meter though, for both players. It's a good conversion from Adventure right there. It's running a little bit awkwardly, but he made the most of it. 2D cutting him off at the pass again, builds to the 50% tension. Just drive the Elysium driver, not MFCR. Oh, he did get frisky. The punish kills Adventure. Highway robbery in the first game. You see MFCR holding his hands up. He's like, how the hell did that hit me? Wow. <laughs> oh, we're seeing both, both sides of the spectrum like, yeah. of the human emotion. He's still shaking his head. He was like, how did that happen? I thought he was firmly parked. We saw the punish come out. Something ended up coming out that he wasn't expecting. Adventure. <laughs> He's just, you know, he is, a, but I love so, it because he is in the moment, right? He's, He's so, appreciating this. It's honestly, it's crazy. I have all the bias on the other side, and I can't help but root for him. That, that's, it's, a, it's, that's a true baby face right there. Genuinely, bro. bro. <laughs> oh my God! And he gets around the flash again. 2D. What doesn't it do? Yeah, that's a great point. My man right now, MFCR, oh no, get in back row to get out of Adventure has been the most successful back row we've seen in the top eight for sure. So many times where he's cornered, he just ended up turning the entire game around. Another driver going straight through the wall with this one, baby. Ow, Leo actually died from that. Wow. 
And that is a beefy boy, too, taking yeah. a ton of damage off of it here. Around downs already. Adventure trying to speed run through and try and set up this reset here. Catches the back dash with the close slash. And oh, look at that run pass. Wow. I like that. Takes a, sacrifices a little bit of damage for a ton of real estate. And now the flags are up. All oh, red cards on the field. Maybe somebody's going to get ejected. Is it Leo White thing? It's kind of looking like it. Why wow. see to alleviate some of that pressure, but he can't escape the corner without bursting. 6 b not work. Does get the chase down. And that's the crazy thing. None of these rounds are ever over. This is the most never over till it's over matchup we've seen all day. 100%. And again, try to close that distance with the minion doing the heavy lifting. She's just going to pose on you. 2 0 start in grand finals for adventure right now. Look at that calm, cool, and collected. MFCR wiping his hands. This is unfamiliar territory for him right now, right? We talked about it. He was 6 0 leading up until this yes. point to start grand finals with two L's. This is definitely a surprise. Oh, trying to cross back through. Looks for the punish, does get the throw. Cross up. And Adventure, honestly, on the verge of a six-game winning streak of his own right now after having 3 0 and lose his finals. Oh, okay. That burst. Reset things a little bit. 2D on the delay. We've seen that all wow. weekend from players in different matchups here. Hesitation kills. If you're going to get into a stare down with someone, you might as well have pressed something earlier. At that point, it's almost better just to decline. Yes, one of my favorite lines in history is, he who hesitates is lost. Uh, it could not be more accurate than when you're watching fighting games. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, guard point actually to deal with the fireball. Nice little adaptation, but Adventure, he just doesn't seem to care. Yeah, Adventure, all right, he just seems like he's really feeling it in the moment right now, playing so well. The 2D gonna definitely thwart a lot of those plans, but we got knocked down his corner. What a tech throw! His defense has been immaculate, bro. At every single stage here, gets the fireball out. Checks him into the cross, it's the jab, and just nobody can seem to open him up. And he finds throws, he gets a throw on everyone at every single stage. The reset is here, he's gonna reset! Adventure with a 3-0 in quick fashion too. Look at it, he holds up, oh, he holds up the one, the two, and the three. Y'all just saw the one, because that's all the sets he needs to be the grand champion. MFCR, yeah, let's reset this whole momentum right now. It's all knotted up, both players in the loser's bracket side of things yet again. Jackal for the adventure, you know. Leo with the way White. she's been handling business, there ain't gonna be no switches. MFCR sticking with the White Thing as well. All right, this is reset bracket. Let me hear y'all one more time. I don't like these head shakes from MFCR. Yeah, yeah, uh, when man. he plays his best, when he's playing confidently, he looks. Mm -hmm. It feels like he's on the ropes right now. If, it's if, definitely the way it's going. If we're looking at body language, it is all adventure right now for sure. Mm -hmm. MFCR. He, he, this guy's got the alpha alpha. He's living right now. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Oh. MFCR looking more trouble than we've seen him all top eight. Oh my god, and it's just not starting out well either. Able to get the minion through. Looks the distance going for the cross up. That's a huge momentum burst. Elysium oh, driver wow. on wake up. Just hits. I'm done. Oh <laughs> yeah, my god. Right. <laughs> You can come and say solo for the rest of the match, Rich. That's what I was going to say, but it's okay. MFCR had that one scouted with a preemptive jump, and man, did he make her pay for that gamble. Oh, there we go. That's what we talked about. Instant block on the Berserker Slash. The only thing you can avoid getting thrown by is you can backdash afterwards. Oh. But it just feels impossible to close the distance. Adventure at every single stage has a stop sign of some kind. Even in this situation, taking that damage, he's able to get back on his feet, pulls the minion. And even from situations like that, can turn water into wine. He always has offense. For real, man, that was a great analogy. It really feels like not only is his defensive choices super on point, but he is making the most out of them afterwards. Like the confident defensive choices to swing the momentum. That is championship-style gameplay. Oh, the minions. It's just every single stage. They're everywhere. Oh, putting them out again, bro. Just I not can't. letting them breathe. Still okay. Well, the distance back turn like that. Yeah, they're gonna burst out immediately from adventure. Oh no. They need to open up. <laughs> We're coming in, bro. For real. And then again, he's done such a good job staying out of flash kick range as well. Oh, and the 2D cut him off in the pass. MFCR, he can't find an opening. The offense, and then the jump the afterwards. You want to get rid of the minion and go through. I'm not going to let you do that for free. And the crowd is going crazy here. Even, dude, the mania from Adventure. Even the Florida crowd yeah. isn't immune. Jackal's a fan favorite as well, man. He wants to see her pose on the opponent. I'll tell you what. Well, oh. brain trap. 
around. And the French has been so on point, man. He really has a good sense of MFCR's defensive decisions. Look at the way he's just keeping his distance. And he's uh, really had a very early burst on as well. He's just not surrendering any momentum. Not trying to let his opponent feel good about themselves ever. Look at that PRC. Drift up to avoid the chase down. Immaculate. What do you do? What, genuinely, there's is in situations like that when your opponent actually checkmates you. There's just like, what do you do? Yeah, like it was one of those things where like you want to give credit to MFCR. That was such a good adjustment from him. But the fact that Adventure was ready the first time he sees it. Bananas, bro. Oh yeah, that's gonna hurt though. Got hit by the guard, breaks straight through with a super afterwards. Ouch. OGG is a big deal, gets the headbutt. Gotta get this round so important. Wires can come through, dashes up. Nothing to follow though. MFCR, he has to step up leading here, bro. He doesn't get the punish on the flash kick. Okay, there it is. If Adventure managed to bring that round back, it was, I think, done. It might be over here. Like, yeah. It was gonna be too much momentum. It was gonna be too hard of a mental loss. But right now, MFCR still staying strong. Awesome. Oh, Tries to go for again, run no, through his no, throne. No. Yeah. That's what we're looking for in Winter Sons with Marvello. Adventure definitely is playing clean with that Berserker Slash defense. I love that. that for the Oki, he does like that jump deep to stay out of Flash Cube Rage again. He's so smart. Oh, oh and then punishing the first. Point blank with it. I put myself in the corner so I can get no pushback. Elysium Driver straight through the dirt. Still on the line, though. Has meter. Minion interrupts and the soccer kick to put it through two games. Adventure is looking down to MFCR, looking down the barrel of a 6 0 potentially. The head shakes. And what is this now? This is an eight game win streak right now. The snowball is huge for Adventure. And there it is again, the back throw. That's been the tail of the tape for sure. He just finds throws out of magic just everywhere. He always seems to have a way to get there. Like legit, bro. Every time the opponent is had him cornered, he gets either back throw or he gets the instant air dash out and he gets the cross up button. And right here, he's gonna stage switch again, or excuse me, side switch, but the minions prevent that. Knocked out. Back dash is the headbutt. Like, look at this, bro. He's back dashing the post as meaty. He's just right every single time. And now he's on set point, tournament point. What's your adjustment when your opponent's playing perfect? Exactly, right? <laughs> it really feels so demoralizing when you have to play against someone like this, where even when you're switching up your options, they just seem to know when you're going to switch it up. He just he feels like the chosen one right now, dude. Comes through, does get the knockdown, though. Opportunity arises, DP is baited. Adventure, he's so close. Oh. He can taste the belt, he's so close. Oh. One more interaction, anything. And he's still got him in the corner as well. It's this tough spot for MFCR to be in. Does pick his spot carefully with the 2K. Not even pop off back, but you can see he's a little nervous down too. The break dance fighting the burst for one last chance. Let me see this mall. You gotta put him in the lion's den, but he doesn't. He prevents the Berserker slash adventure as your CEO 2023 champion. And you love the energy. You love to see it. Adventure so well earned. As he built up momentum, genuinely, I do not say it lightly, he looked perfect in Grand Finals, he Rich. Did. He looked perfect. He answered everything that he needed to answer, and we talked about, we highlighted that the Berserker Slashes, MFCR was bullying his opponents in top eight with those, not Adventure. He was ready for every single one. Just at every stage, at every turn, Adventure so well deserved. But give it up for MFCR, obviously, very well played. Yeah, definitely give it up from MFCR. Ripping Florida, ripping TNS, ripping Venezuela. But look at this guy. Yeah, the champion, though, adventure. That man is going to get the belt. That is a beautiful thing, man. Oh. And uh, from jump, right, his entrance had the most electricity. Tip. He was the most excited to be here. He was running out to the camera. I thought he was going to knock him over. And right there, baby, it is amazing to see that energy get fulfilled with a whole tournament victory. Big ups to adventure. Honestly and truly, that is a... Uh, uh, it is a little, it hurts a little. No yeah, Florida, no, no Florida belt, sure. it hurts a little. Sure. But honestly and truly, that's the type of energy we need to see. That yes. is capital, encapsulates what we want from fighting games, what we want from CEO, what we hope to see in the future from EVO. Mm -hmm. All these upcoming tournaments, all these things as we continue to grow and we continue to shine together, things like that, the energy. Adventure, bro, you are goaded. Yeah. That's what I want to see. 100%. I want to see that from everyone. Bro. Like you said, this was a hometown crowd for MFCR, but people couldn't help it's themselves infectious. but go crazy for adventure, bro. Like the way he was playing, his attitude in between the matches during the entrance, it was just exactly what you want. Dude, it's uh, just... Uh, 
And it's been a long road for him, too. The yes. investment paying off, right? He's been a Jackal player since the character dropped. Yes. And he's just been making sure that everybody knows that this character's got some juice. He's been on the forefront with the tech, the strategies behind the character. I remember when she first got buffed, that's who I asked about it. I was like, what yep. do you think about this? And he said, bro, now that I can get my game started way earlier, they got to watch out. And look at that. Completes the CEO 2023 run, starting top eight in loser's bracket. Absolutely. just had, uh, It couldn't have been a tougher road for him but is able to persevere, able to push through, and it's just so well-deserved. We just, uh, I cannot wait to see how this guy looks with the belt. Yeah, exactly, oh man. Yeah, so we're getting excited. all the players back in the ring right now for that award ceremony. An incredible top eight to kick off CEO day number three, right? The finale in the arenas right now. We got Smash coming up next in the arenas. We got a bunch of games going on outside of that as Absolutely. well. I know SF6 Top 24, I believe, is going to be starting soon. So that's going to be a great one as well as we narrow it down to the top eight later on today. But man, all of the competitors today really came and brought it, baby. Adventure, MFCR, Super Noon, Marvello, everybody. The JoJo coming all the way from the UK. Really dope to see the international representation as well. Absolutely. A huge shout out to everybody here in the arena. I said, wake up early, get some Guilty Gear Strive. We love y'all. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, baby. It can't be as electric as it is without the fans. So everybody of that course. came into the arena, definitely huge appreciation for y'all. This is one of my favorite atmospheres at any fighting game tournament. So Absolutely. to be in the arena, to get to call this action, a pure privilege. Hey, CEO, community effort. We always got to say it. But we are going to toss it to the ring to the man himself, the leader of the community effort. Jabali is in the ring with top eight. All right, guys. What did you think of that Guilty Gear Strive top eight? Awesome, awesome. Stick around after the awards. No trailers or anything, but I do have something to announce for CEO Taku, so stick around. But with that, let's get to our top eight. Again, anime community, thank you always for supporting CEO Taku, CEO. Give it up to the staff, Dennis, Alex, and the rest of the team that continues to help and work with you guys. You guys keep growing anime, man, so keep it up. Thank you. And with that, in seventh place, give it up to Lord Knight. Also in seventh place, give it up to Flynn's Gaming Creator. In fifth place. In fifth place, give it up to Test Your Luck. Also in fifth place, give it up to DeJojo. In fourth place, give it up to Super Noon. In third place, Florida's own Marvello. In second place, one of TNS's own MFCR. And your CEO, 2023 Guilty Gear Strive champion, give it up to Adventure. Give it up one more time to your Guilty Gear Strive. It's... Thank you, guys. All right. You all get paid this week. We're pretty quick around here. All right, guys, thank you. Oh, yeah, we're going to do a top three picture. With that, thank you guys so much. But, yeah, let me talk a little bit about CEO Taku this year. Who's coming to CEO Taku this year? Awesome. No trailer or anything, but, Spencer, why don't you put up the game lineup for this year? We've got 23 official tournaments this year. Biggest lineup we've ever done. Everyone's going to ask for Street Fighter Mortal Kombat there, so we're just tossing it in. But I promise you, Guilty Gear Strive is still the main event. Anime is still the main event. So 
With that, it is an ARC Revo World Tour event. And just, you might want to be there this year. We're going to have a lot of cool new stuff to check out. So that's about all I can tell you guys. But see Otaku, registration is actually live right this moment. Hotels are available. We've taken over the entire Wyndham Orlando Resort. So 60,000 square feet of all anime all weekend. And Street Fighter 6 and Mortal Kombat. But uh, yeah, so... That's all. Thank you, guys. Strive community. Next up, we're going to have Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Enjoy. And then we're going to end CO 2023 with Street Fighter VI Top 8. Thank you so much. And big ups to the man himself, Jabili, holding it down, presenting the medals, presenting the belt to our champion of this year, Adventure. Incredible, incredible run. Yeah, just absolutely unreal to see, uh, not only to see the Guilty Gear Strive and the way that things have played out, but to see CEO continue to grow, continue to shine, and continue to be the event that we need here in Florida. Uh, I just want to say thank you to production, to everybody in the ring that was involved making Guilty Gear the way that it is, to all the players and to all of you, everybody watching, whether you're here in the arena or you are uh, just joining us on Twitch. Uh, Things don't, things don't go without you. No. The fighting games only are successful because of the people that are involved. Uh, it's a community. It's a family. Uh, we need you guys, and we appreciate you for being here with us. 100%, man. I could have said it better myself. A proxy it was a hell of a fun ride, as per usual, my man. Until next time, y'all, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and we'll see you very soon.